Good. All right, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Howdy, howdy, howdy. The crowd has erupted. And um, anyway, so we're here. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we're inside Beach's Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. And you're invited. I mean, in other words, there's plenty of room. Uh, Frank Knotts has arrived. He is sporting his winter hat. It's a appears to be some type of uh, flax leather or something like that. I don't know what it's called. What is it? Pigskin? Pigskin. Okay. All right. Well, don't tell Norman Short or Norman Jones about that or anything. Might bother him. Huh? No, he loves pigs. Every time he eats Scrapple. So anyway, uh, yeah, we are on the air, to be honest with you. I'm actually talking to Frank in the audience about pigs and his hat. All right, Colin, we're going to do a picture real quick. Picture. And here we go. All right, All right. so. Is it a picture or a yeah, picture? picture. And that should be a three, but that's okay. We never right. keep track anyway. All right, so. <laughs> Good morning. The number. All right, so anyway, what's up with Colin? We got what, a lot to talk about. We so. do have a lot to talk about. I don't have a poster. You've got a poster. There, I got a poster. We um, talk about that. We do, and um, I also brought this. What is but this? But I thought we would just talk about TV Del Marvin and stuff for just a minute or two. Until we go to the end of the thing. Okay. Okay. Until we go to the end of the thing. All right. The time thing. So, so TV Del Marva. What are we talking about? TV, TV Del Marva. Well, Channel TV 14 Del over general, the air. Let's just talk about how great a do- job your team did oh, with yeah. the Sea Witch Parade. They did a fantastic I, I had had job, Jim. Raving reviews. Yeah. I, th- I think the town is happy and everybody mm-hmm. in the parade is happy. Yep, so I would agree. Where can somebody that has been in the parade? Is it somewhere else they can go take a look at it? Yeah, if they so, want, well, you can look leisure. on our you can look on our Facebook page. Just search okay. for it there, or uh, it might be a little bit easier. You can go to tvdelmarva.com. Okay, and then click on parades up at the top, and they're all there. And they're there. Oh, Milford I didn't and, know that. Yep, okay. Milford okay. and the Sea Witch Parade are there. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, very good. So, um, so again, if you are out there and you missed the Sea Witch Parade, mm-hmm. or you want to know what all the hoopla is about, check it out. It was huge. It was. Huge, yeah. Huge. Yeah. Thousands and, and thousands and thousands of views. People. Yeah. yeah. Views. Yeah. Views. Yeah. 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 And um, so anybody that ever wants to advertise with TV Delmar, this is where, like me as an advertiser, mm-hmm. I think, man, you want your best bang for the buck. Get involved with these different events that you're doing. I, I agree, yeah. And um, so um, you can always talk to Colin about that. So we got some more stuff coming up. I was going to wait till we had our radio audience joining us. Okay, to yeah. just hit a couple other things. Oh, in other okay. Words, this is going to okay. be the big reveal. The big reveal that we've is already coming revealed. up. So we've already revealed, but we're going right. to. We don't want anybody to be excluded from it, and mm-hmm. um, so on and so forth. So Wall so Service Center, how's so things forward. been there? Uh, it's been good. Busy, been busy, busy. Yep. Busy, right. and, and um, uh, you know, we've got uh, lots of things. Uh, oh, I forgot something. I gave you that? one of those. Did I give you that paper? I took a picture of it. Hold on. What is it? I sent it to you. It I is a – Colin or John, can you hand me my uh, binder thing what there? Is it? So it's our financing. You can now oh, finance. Oh, you did. Yeah, and I don't have a paper, but yes. Right. I've got yeah. it right here. You offer finance, and somebody comes in and finds out this car needs new brakes and rotors. And by the way, this car over here needs them too, or mm-hmm. shocks, or struts, or front end parts. You you can finance more than one vehicle's repairs. Whatever you need yes. done, you can just clump it all together or do it all individually. And I can't find you're it. Off, that's okay. But you're offering financing. Yes. You know, for those unexpected or planned, either one repairs at wall service center so you know if your money's a little wonky and you got to buy heating oil or fuel oil or oh, you're preparing yeah. for christmas or something like that but yet the vehicle still needs something there are options there and are so we've options. we've had you know several people take advantage of it and they said the process is about a what was it called about two minutes two to three minutes well, to do it two it. or three it sends I mean, you two a, different answers there. well it depends on your cell service okay <laughs> or your email service so it'll send okay. you a text or an email all right um and then you just Follow that link, and it takes That's you right it. there. So it's not exactly. like you're filling out paperwork at Wall Service Center no. or leaving it there. You just do it all online, exactly. and um, finance company approves you, and then mm-hmm. you're good to go. Yep. All right. So, uh, Colin, the second, just holler to us. What is something somebody has used the financing for? Uh, wheel bearings. Wheel bearings. Okay. All right. Not on a wheelbarrow. <clears throat> wheel bearings on a vehicle. Is that right? Yep. AC okay. Compressor. AC compressor. That would be something that I could see that coming mm-hmm. as an unexpected thing. 
And, um, and so you can just text to apply. We've got QR codes. We've got text to apply. You can text first mile, the number one ST really? mile, mile to 46178. Okay. So, first mile. And it'll send you a link back to apply. And then you apply, and then you're approved, and then, you know, you can get whatever repairs you want done. And, or, and I, I want to say 90-plus percent approval rate. Really? That's pretty yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 10 people. Yeah. Or 90 out of 100. Right, exactly. All right. We're going to prep for the radio, so please get yourself prepped for the radio. And uh, who's back there again today? What's his name? Robert Tyler. Robert Tyler. All right. Robert Tyler. Thank you for helping out. And here we are. We're on the... Uh, Radio, we're on TV Del Marva, we're on everywhere. So I want to talk real quick mm -hmm. about one thing. This is a, a sponsor segment with uh, me and Colin and TV Del Marva and Wall Service Center and so on. But we got a big event coming up on Tuesday night. Uh, Absolutely. Not just the election, okay? Mm -hmm. But afterwards, there's going to be, what would you call it? Results. So we're going to have a results party. Is exactly. That fair to say? We, we are, yes. Yep. And it's right not, here at and Beach's I've, Restaurant. And I've had people say, well, is this going to be a real political thing? No, it's not, no. folks. I mean, if you or just want to be done with it, you've voted or not voted, and you want to come and have a nice, you know, have some food. Uh, and a night of fun. And a night of fun yeah. at Beach's Restaurant in the Milton location. We're going to have Sky Brady going to be playing some music. DJ Sky Brady, yep, yep. Uh, uh, Norm Short's going to be telling some jokes. 11th, 11th funniest person on Del Mar. That's right. And um, then we've got um, Walt Barkas going to be helping tell us some of the results. Yes. And then you and I are going to be broadcasting live on TV Del Marva. Yep, TV and Del Marva, Facebook, our Facebook, TV Del Marva yep. Facebook page. Yep, yep. And so we're going to have people come, and people are allowed to come in. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, Don Allen, owner of Beaches, has come up with a special menu yes. for the evening. And what I liked about it was just an affordable one, two, three, four, four things, twelve dollars or less. Four things you can get five to things, eat. twelve, five or things, less. five women. Yeah, because one, that one's ten. You're right. Two, three. Four, five. Boy, you're on it. Five things, $12 or less. Mm -hmm. But the prime rib sandwich and fries for 12 bucks sounds yeah. like a real good deal. That is a real good deal. And then meatloaf with mashed potatoes mm -hmm. for only $18. So, Here's, I want to point out my favorite. I've right. had it here the before. The one with the grits? The shrimp and grits. It you like that? It is good. Yes. Okay. It's really good. So that's 7 to 10 mm -hmm. this Tuesday night. This Tuesday night. Everybody's welcome. No is the bar going to be open? The bar is going to be open. Okay. Yes. Good. Yep. And um, so it's doubtful that I will partake of any adult beverages, but it's possible. Oh, tune in in case he does. <laughs> tune in. <laughs> then the show is going to go into overtime. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I haven't Stand drank by on the I, dump button. I'm 64 and I haven't drank since I was 15. So anyway, <laughs> all my friends loved it because I was always the designated driver. <laughs> And I usually drove pretty fast. So they weren't happy. <laughs> when you were 15? Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> is that seven years ago? I said that passed you the statute of limitations. Yeah, that is. That is. We're going uh, on 50, almost 50 years. Okay. So anyway, yeah. join us this Tuesday night is yes. what we're trying to say. 7 to 10. So get here 7 o'clock. That's when the broadcast starts. Yep. I think he's going to be open a little bit early, maybe 6 okay. o'clock. So, yeah. But uh, what else? What? Donald. Is Donald. Okay, and, Donald's, uh, yeah. Donald's yeah. off in the distance sharing that he is a wealth of information when right. it comes to me. He's, he's got a binder over there. He's starting to <laughs> he's open it up. Track. <laughs> yeah, he's known me since I was down. a little boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, All right. But this is so. going to be a good night, Jim. We're looking to pack this place. Yep. And uh, have standing room only. So get here so. early. No reservations, no cover no. charge, free parking. Yep. Um, please join us this Tuesday night. Okay, it's, it's going to be a good Because they're time. normally closed on Tuesday. This is a special night. It is. So we would love a full participation. Okay, can All I right. let you go now? You can, if that's okay with you. Uh, it's okay with me. Okay. I'm going right. to let you Thank go. You. All right. Here we are. You're watching and listening to a show called Weller Does Del Marva. We got the collage ready. Cool Bobby B, Bob Backman. He does the voiceover. It's amazing. A lot of people say, I recognize that voice. Yes, if you listen to serious radio and, and you're serious about radio. What's it called? The doo-wop show. So anyway, you ready? Okay, here's a collage of what's probably going to happen today. Ready? Listen. This week on Weller Does Del Marva, Pastor Miguel and Catherine Alban Guerrero of Love, Inc. joins the show. Mike Sando from Weller's Utility Trailer Shots. Ron Hagen of Best Shot stops in. Senator Brian Pettyjohn visits the show, and Senate candidate and Representative Steve Smick talks with us. 
Shirley Fires, and Grady Putnam of Sussex County Toys for Talks drops by. TV tomorrow's Colin Walls of Walls Service Center checks in. We are live from the Beaches Seafood Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. And now, here's your host, Jim Weller. Good morning. So, everybody, that's a little bit of what's going to happen today. we got a lot of stuff going on, and we are inviting you to join us. The crowd is forming, and uh, there's plenty of seats here, and you're welcome to come and have breakfast, have a cup of coffee, sit here and watch the show unravel. I mean, professionally be produced by the minute. So, anyway, Wilson's Auction is a today-only offer. Got a lot of stuff going on. Wilson's Auction is each and every Saturday morning. They are a sponsor of the show. We appreciate Dave and everybody at Wilson's Auction, and we just want to let you know they got a lot of stuff. If you go to wilsonsauction.com there's hundreds of pictures of stuff that's going to be sold today to the highest bidder now if you're visiting delaware uh there's no sales tax okay so anyway you may want to just go to an auction you want to make some new friends just go there hold your hand up just go like hold them both up if you have to okay that means you're bidding twice as much all right so keep that in mind but anyway it's a lot of fun i take my grandkids i'm trying to teach them eye hand coordination and how to not overspend so you got to learn when to pull your hand down. But it's a lot of fun. It's an auction. So they got uh, lawn and garden stuff. They've got exercise equipment. Um, they have got uh, furniture. They've got appliances. They have got coins. They've got jewelry. They've got glassware. They've got a lot of books this week, too, So uh, on Delaware and different things. So a lot of memorabilia, uh, memorabilia. But anyway, so it's today. Starts at 10 o'clock. You can probably go there now. Dave Wilson, you can go. If you ever want to find Dave Wilson, about 7 o'clock in the morning, almost every day of the week, he's out there unlocking them gates at Wilson's Auction. <laughs> it's like his thing. So anyway, but uh, so Wilson's Auction is today. Then Tuesday nights, every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock, they have an auto auction, all right? And then on the 12th, which sounds like next Saturday to me, there is a equipment sale down in Laurel, down in Laurel on Sharptown Road. And um, it's a public auction. It'll start at 10 next Saturday. And there's a lot of nice looking farm equipment, okay? Tractors and there's a combine and headers and not headers for a car. I think a header goes on the front of a combine, I think. But anyway, antique tractors, there's trucks, there's planning and tillage equipment, farm equipment, tools and more. That's Saturday the 12th on site at the farm in Laurel, so you can see pictures and learn a lot about that at wilsonsauction.com, okay? So anyway, give them a call, 302-422-3454, 422-3454. Dial it in that order if you have any questions. Maybe you want to sell something, you want to sell a property, or you want to sell a bunch of stuff. You give Dave and his team a call, and they'll help you out. All right, and remember the name Dave Wilson on Tuesday, okay? Just uh, just so you don't forget that name, Dave Wilson. He's my state senator, and he's a good guy. I like him a lot. All right, what is next? What is next? What is next? Okay, Pastor Miguel is here. I pronounced his name right? Miguel, right? Yes. I got it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> my teachers would be so also. All right, how you doing there, young man? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Good. And we're talking about Love, Inc., is yes. that correct? Love in the name of Christ. Love in the name of Christ. Okay, I wouldn't think of it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, so, some people uh, confuse it with just Love, Inc. Incorporated. Oh, really? Just, okay. In the name of Christ. Okay. So, um, what do you want to talk about? Well, one of the ministries that Love Inc. has is Code Purple. Okay. And I don't think many people in, in, the, in the county know that Love Inc. oversees Code Purple. And that's oh, very important okay. so, so that we can tie up the rest of the ministry okay. to uh, what we do overall. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, um, Code Purple, um, for people that aren't aware of it, it is um, it's either shelter or food, or could be both. Is that right? Code Purple is our um, winter shelters. Okay. So from December 1st to March 15th, we have different church partners around the county that allow uh, up to 14 people to each site to be able to go and sleep there from um, 9, 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. They're able to go and, and be able to have somewhere warm to stay at during okay. the coldest month of the of the year. All right. So when was that? December 1st? December starts? 1st to okay. March 15. Okay. Um, our Cold Purple Shelters will open. Okay. And we're so grateful to our church partners and to the community for um, partnering with us. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, they always can use some helpers. Is that right? Yeah. All right. We need a lot of volunteers to be able to cover five sites right uh per night 
for about four that's months. seven days a week, that's right? seven days a week, yeah. Right. And so a helper may just literally go and help check people in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or might just spend the evening there and just be there in case somebody has a need or a situation. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, help with set up or take down. Yeah. Um, just help in any way. Is that right? Yeah. Help. Um, they can even be able to talk to some individuals, be able to talk to them about uh, listening to them, talk to them about God. Right. Um, we are a Christian organization, so if, if we have believers that are interested in just um, helping their neighbor in a different form, mm -hmm. um, that's another option. And you mm -hmm. can commit to one night a yeah. week or one night a month or whatever degree you want, in mm -hmm. other words. Um, yeah. But it takes quite a few people, if not hundreds of people, to make this happen. Yeah, that's for sure. So uh, if people can stay overnight, but they're, uh, uh, they want to support Code Purple, they can go to loveincofmiddelmarva.org and be able to help us monetarily. Uh, um, yeah. Because if we can't cover, if we can't cover the sites um, with volunteers, then we right. have to go and pay someone. Right. So that right. will be a huge expense, but it's an important expense because we don't want people to be cold. Now, mm -hmm. can people donate supplies? Is there any supplies that are needed? Yeah, people can donate supplies like um, blankets. They can donate like different types of snacks that okay. they might be able to have in the evening. Uh, uh, they can donate some gift cards to different um, uh, gasoline stations okay. that we can give to them. Okay. So anything that uh, we can give our neighbors when they leave the shelters at 7 a.m. that they can be able to use th throughout the day. Because you send them on their way. This isn't somewhere they stay all day. It's just strictly yeah. a place to get out of the weather and the elements for the evening. Yes, and we Code are being purple. very intentional to not just uh, uh, have this four-month pr um, program, this shelter, and then let them go after March, but our case manager is going to be working alongside our cold purple manager to see who's ready to be able to get back on their two feet. Right. Because it's important that we are part of the transformation aspect of their lives if right. they are ready for it. You're there to help make a difference. Yeah. All right. What else do you want to talk about? So I would like to talk about um, Love, Inc., in being an organization that is there to mobilize churches to transform okay. lives in Jesus' name. So since we've got, since my wife and I have been in loving since March, we've met with overall, with 45 pastors in churches. Okay. Okay. Um, and that is because we're trying to inform the churches that there's a lot of um, help that our neighbors need, and we want to bring them along to be okay. part of that. Okay. We're not an organization that... Um, just maintains the ministry on its own, but we, we you're we're, involved. we're nothing without the church. Right. So you're constantly involving and interacting with other churches because you all are just stronger together, working together. Yes, exactly. So wow. we recently have helped two individuals go from homelessness to be able to go to their own apartment. Wow. And that took a village. It took some church, different church members from different churches to sit down with these individuals, mentor them in finance, m listen okay. to them and what they're, right. where they've been at in their life what they have been struggling with and uh, how God can help them be able to break those chains and get back on their two feet. But that requires a village because yes, relationship, it's, it, it, it's, it, it's investing. you got to invest yeah. in people's lives. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing better than invest in somebody's life. No, there is The isn't. rewards are just out of this world. Yeah. You know, when you see people grow and go from a certain scenario and so on. Uh, any other, anything else, I mean, that you needed to get out there? Yeah, um, we, for Cope, when the Cope, when Cope Purple begins, um, December, 1st. December 1st to March 15, we do feed every evening. So okay. right now we feed uh, about nine times a week, Okay. five lunches um, from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And then we feed dinners Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. And then breakfast Saturday and Sundays, okay, um, from uh, seven to seven a.m. to eight p.m. But once Cold Purple begins, we we have to be ready to feed every evening. On top so, of that, on top of that, so right. we have churches already signing up, okay, organizations signing up to help take on the load. So if you're interested in helping us feed uh, our neighbors. Uh, dinner, um, you can go, just go to loveincofmiddelmarva.org or our Facebook up. page and sign up. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go, yeah. and, and I'm going to thank you for joining us and yeah. all that Love, Inc. does, and it's a great organization. Um, I try to support it as best I can, and I want to encourage people to learn about Love, Inc., learn about Code Purple, and 
make a difference. I mean, it's as simple as, you know, you could you can make a crock pot full of something and bring it and, and let them serve it. So yeah, as simple as that. It doesn't that. have to be complicated. Nope. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, young thank man. You. God bless nice you. Nice seeing you again. You. God thank bless you. you. I'll see you. see you. All right. There we go. And um, so get involved. Um, Love Inc. Code Purple. Many different things they're involved in. And if you're involved in a church and they're not involved, you know, encourage your church to get involved. So anyway, that's that. Jerry's Lawn Care. So uh, Jerry's Lawn Care. Kevin, you can make your way down if you want. Can Kevin come down? Is that okay? All right. So Kevin is going to grace us with his presence. But we're going to talk about Jerry's Lawn Care real quick. This is a sponsor of the show, Jerry Santoro, a friend of mine. Been dealing with him for years. He's been supporting the show almost from the get-go. And if you need stuff done, so you say, well, what do you... First of all, the weather's changing. So if you have a lawn irrigation system and you have not winterized that yet, I suggest you get a hold of Jerry and get it done. Even if he didn't install it, he can winterize it for you, okay? Tree care, um, if you've got some trees that are leaning or the limbs are broke or you're scared to death it's going to break in the middle of a storm, let's just get that thing dealt with. Jerry does all kinds of tree work. He also clears lots, like if you're clearing a building lot or clearing a lot for a pole shed or a barn or something like that. He also has firewood, seasoned hardwood firewood. Also, if you want to plan your lawn care for next year or you want to reseed something or you're building a new house and you don't know who's going to do your yard, Jerry does all that kind of stuff, okay? He also sells mulch, which is not this time of the year, but whenever you need anything done pertaining to lawn care, maintenance, upkeep, or if you've got a project and you're not even sure if Jerry does it, give him a call. Estimates are free. He's licensed. He's insured. He's friendly. He's knowledgeable. I've dealt with him for years. Very happy with him. His name is Jerry Santoro. His number is 302 363, what is it? 302 363 6025. 363 6025 JLC LLC on the web. Okay. Thank you, Jerry, for your support and your friendship and all the good things you do for me. Now, Kevin Short is going to chit chat with me for just a moment or two. And um, so I think you know, we're going to do a picture real quick. Okay. And then I got to move along. I got to so, ask you a question. That's fine. Get your picture. Okay. Are you done, Linda? All right, Kevin, what's up? Are you reading a teleprompter? I, I was nope. looking over here. I don't see one. No, nope. I'm looking out the window but and everything you're, else. You're, so, <laughs> yep. you know, I've been a singer most of my life, and I know a lot of singers sing in the shower. Do you do these commercials in the shower? No, I just <laughs> got them memorized. Are you sure? Yeah, I think you're riding down the road. When, I, that's what you're, most of the time you're like, doing a live Facebook when you're right. driving. The I other quit times, because I'm busy studying this. The other times, I think you're reciting commercials. I, yep. Okay. I got them down pretty smooth, don't I? You did, Well, smooth? I don't... You got them. You know, <laughs> They're yeah. so polished. Yeah, yeah I don't... They're so polished. I don't, <laughs> smooth is it's not... one of a, the most polished shows you're going to see. That's an adjective I would apply to them, but you, know, <laughs> but you get the job done, so... Can uh, we talk about... What can we talk about? Return day. I, you're involved. Evolved. I've evolved. No, you're involved. Involved. Okay. Involved. Did I say evolved? I'm not sure. I don't think I, I did. I was hoping to evolve. I'm okay. Don't even pay attention to that. <laughs> 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 okay. It'll break your concentration. The wire needs wiggling. You and Colin are the parade announcers. I think we are. On the main stage. I'm so the, excited. Uh, I'm so proud of Colin. Delaware Electric Co op stage. Yep. I'm so. his better half on that project. And Colin's actually the be- guy who can pronounce the big words. Okay. Um, right. I'm, you know, three, four letter words. I'm good. I'm good. Beyond that, boy, I need help. And I understand you've got plenty of giveaways. Yes, plenty of giveaways. Lots of cash. No, I ain't no cash. We're not giving the cash <laughs> away. Because we have to try out everything we give away. So if somebody gave us cash to give away, we would have to try it out first to make sure it works. Okay. So All right. that might be the tryout day. And you the parade is Thursday. Is that the right? The parade is Thursday. It's, yes. it's going to happen no matter what. Hey. That's that's correct. Rain or shine. And yes. what is it? Kick off or step off? Is it noon? No, it's you know what? I don't. It's one or one thirty. Okay, um, so we can be there at noon, though, no matter what. You can be there at noon. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's on the circle. I think it's at one thirty. Okay. I, I actually, you know what? You've don't worry about it. You've the timer's asked, it running. We're losing it, it time. It doesn't matter time. to me. It's going to be Thursday in Georgetown, no matter what. I'm there early. So, okay. you know. But I did bring you on as the expert of the return okay. day parade. Well, I, you know, I want to talk about Wednesday night. So, okay. All right. Talk about Wednesday night. you're not involved in. Right. But you could be. Oh, I'm going to cut a rug. This okay. is my dancing debut Wednesday coming? night. Okay. 
Well, Wednesday night, we only got There's 34 music. seconds left. Yeah. How did, how did <laughs> I that, only had, how did I had two happen? minutes. I gave you three. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Well, so, let's so not Wednesday, talk about so hair so growth when, anymore. So when, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Didn't I you thought you'd burn up all your time on your new haircut. Uh, so, so Wednesday night, it's uh, the ox roast party. Uh, while they're cooking the ox on the circle, uh, we have three bands that are playing. We have uh, Danny Paisley and the Southern Grass. Danny Paisley is the two-time male vocalist of the year for the International Bluegrass Music Association. So he's he's a uh, big deal. A, he's a Delawarean, but he's right. he's done really well on bluegrass. He's going to be there. Big Hat No Cattle, my band, is going to be there. And the Funsters are going to close the night. So oh. we'll be... Um, is there a charge to go to this event? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. And None. it's right on the circle? It's on the circle. So yes. come out. There will be food for sale? There will be vendors, yes. There will be beer and there will be vendors uh, for food, yes. Okay. Yeah. I can buy adult beverages? You can buy a beer. Yeah. Buy a beer. I don't okay. Think well, that's else, close enough. But, All yeah. right. Uh, so, and so this is this Wednesday night? This Wednesday. It's the uh, kickoff to the return day. Events, which you know, you're in the band Big Hat No Cattle. Big Hat No Cattle. Yes. Okay. We'll be playing Big Cattle No Hat. What yeah. is the name of it? Big Hat No Big Cattle. Big Hat No Cattle. Yes. I'm just yeah. Uh, so, and you're welcome to come dance. In fact, if you dance, you'll <laughs> dance with me. No, no, no. <laughs> I will play the song of your choice. Really? <laughs> yes. It'll if, be Happy Birthday. If you'll no, if dance. If you want to dance happy to birthday. Happy Birthday, I'll play it. I'll play it as long as you stay out there. Really? Yes. Okay. Now That's, my head's sweating. I'm getting nervous. Okay. <laughs> so, All right. so anyway, Wednesday night. This I, is my, a apparently good my time. time has expired. Okay. So, but um, that's it. It's you know, it's a tradition. It's you know, it's a big it's, deal. Um, it's it's been going on since the 1800s. So, wow. Do you um, remember the first one? I remember my first one, but what I don't remember. Well, I remember as a kid, and okay. but the first one that I was involved in, I was in high school. It was in, it was in 80, uh, 82, I think. Wow. 82. So what would people expect? They're going to come, going to be a lot of their friends. They bring a chair. Uh, for Wednesday, you could bring a chair and watch the bands. Yeah, okay. yeah people do that. They sit on the edge of the circle and, 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 and do that. it's just a good, the election's it's now a, over. It's a time. Yeah, it's a lot of, uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll have results. Okay. Uh, you know, that, that's happened in the past where we didn't really know. Wow. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people just hanging out and, and, you know, seeing friends they haven't seen in the last two years or four right. years. So uh, it's, it's, it's coming together. Return day started because people had to come to the county to find out the results right. of the election. Right. So that's what we're celebrating. They're cooking a big ox right there on the on, on the circle, and uh, and then uh, then Thursday you're involved in the parade, and uh, that'll be a good time. So, I agree. Um, it's you know we're excited about it. We work hard. I've been a member of the committee since uh, since the '80s, and uh, it's you know we put a lot of work into it. The committee works hard. And um, we like to have as many people show up on Thursday or Wednesday as possible. So All right. I'm done. I'm going to let you go. Okay. That's okay. I will. That's fine. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Jim. Appreciate All you. Right. See you. All right. Today and today only at the Greenwood Mennonite School is their festival. It's really a big auction is what it is. It's already started with a all-you-can-eat breakfast till about 930 this morning. They have an all-you-can-eat breakfast. This is at the Greenwood Mennonite School on Mennonite School Road right off of 16 or 36. It attaches to both roads. Then at 9 o'clock this morning, there is a huge auction. Dave Wilson is the auctioneer. I will be helping out a little bit, emceeing things once I get there at 10, 10, 30. So anyway, but it starts at 9, and I don't want you to miss anything. Look up the uh, Greenwood Mennonite School's Facebook page. There is all kinds of pictures of different things that they're going to be selling today, all right? Another sponsor I want to thank very, very much is Chick-fil-A. You know, I love Chick-fil-A. I go there a lot. I uh, just ate there again this week, probably about two times. So anyway, if you need any food, you're catering something, you got an event coming up, or you want to bring it, you know, to work and feed the team or whatever you want to do, or if you just want a good, quick breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Chick-fil-A has good food fast. And uh, they really do a good job. They're all over the place. We appreciate their friendship and their support. And we thank them for being a sponsor of the show. And speaking of food, speaking of food, this Sunday, November 6th, is, 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 is at the Bridgeville Fire Hall. Starting at 5 o'clock this Sunday. That sounds like tomorrow. Tomorrow at 5 o'clock. It is chicken and dunk blends and all the trimmings and dessert. Okay, that's tomorrow, Sunday, starting at 5 at the Bridgeville Fire Hall. I hear the music. We're taking a break. I'm going to chat with Colin Walls, and we're going to go from there. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching and listening, and uh, tell your friends. So if you're listening on the radio or watching on TV, spread the word. Tell your friends all about Weller Does Del Marva. 
TV Delmarva. Tell your friends about TV Delmarva. All right, so what is next, Colin, that you want to talk about? Well, I mean, we've got this election night coverage that we're talking about mm -hmm. here. We're going to be here at Beaches in Milton. Milton, Delaware, Milton, starting Delaware, at 7 a.m., right. 7 p.m., 7, 7 p.m. No, don't come at 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 don't come at 7 a.m. It'll be a long day for you. 7 p.m. We'll 7 be here. Got great specials. I'm looking forward to the shrimp and grits. I'll be having shrimp that. Shrimp and grits. Yes. All right. Yes. So we're going to be live on TV for three hours, everybody, okay? Yes, at least. 7 to 10. At least. At least. At least. Yeah. If there's something that we're waiting on that's of importance, you know, like if uh, Jim gets appointed to Senate, he just claims he's going to take right. over. Right. That's my next goal. He's going <laughs> to run for county over. council now. I just decided I want to be a senator. Right. He's just going to okay. take over the way yeah. he says it. That's the way I say it. So. <laughs> anyway, so with so, yes. all that said, with it's going to be said. a day. The voting is over. We want to celebrate yes. wins and losses and uh, just, you know, that it's done. Uh, going to have some good food. Beaches has opened up for the evening. In they other have. Words. They're not normally uh, open on They're going to open the bar area, too. Yes. Yep. So a uh, little bit of everything. And we want to pack the place. So we want you to come out. It's not going to be a night of politicking. There won't be no politicking. Right. It'll be a light of Not a by us, anyway. Right, not by us. It'll be a, a night of celebration. Norm Short's going to be here kind of telling us some jokes. That's and right. 11th us. funniest person on Delmarva. Yep. And um, DJ also, Sky Brady. Yep. Going to be here entertaining. Walt yep. Marcus going to be sharing results as He'll they come in. He'll be informing us. Yep. And some and of those so, might be entertaining. Some yes, of the results they might we be. Get. We're going to be, Colin and I are going to be taking phone calls from people yep. and we might just reach out. We're going to get a phone book out. We're going to go around and find a phone book somewhere <laughs> and we're going to just randomly call people. Okay, Aren't you, you sitting on? No, okay, no, not this time. Not this time. Your seat's adjustable. Do you notice they've rearranged the table over there now? I noticed. They're a lot yep. closer to me. Right. In other words, I so think they wanted to get closer to me. Right. So <laughs> anyway, Tuesday but, night, we don't want you to miss it. No, do not want you to miss it. And uh, it's just going to be a good night and fun. It's going to we're we're taking light. The it's a light night. Lightheartedness. Yeah, we're taking the seriousness out of this election cycle and. We're just going to have some fun with it. Right. So if you never met Colin, after. you never met me, you never saw mm -hmm. a TV show being broadcast live, yep. come on down. And we're going to have, have some giveaways, Jim. I'm going to be giving away TV Delmarva keychains for okay. sure. We may have something else. Okay. Um, so there's I a car I saw it. sitting alongside the road here. We might right. tow it we up here. We might tow it up <laughs> Get a sledgehammer and let you take three swings or something Oh, like that, that would be fun, wouldn't that it? That would be fun. Take your, take your election aggression. <laughs> you know what? We should get Fitzgerald's. Never mind. It's too big. It's too complicated. <laughs> Forget I even said this. Right. I can uh, see who's going to be out there sweeping all that glass, glass up in the up. parking yep. lot. And, yep. Yeah. But that so. would be a good idea. Take your uh, your aggression towards politicians Correct. out on this. Yep. On this car. No, there's going to be none of that. No aggression no, towards it's politicians. It's going to just be fun. So, I mean, we need you to hear us yeah. loud and clear. It's not a political event. There is no cover charge. Mm -hmm. There's no charge to park. No. You literally come in. We hope you might consider Did buying some dinner. In these, other words, these specials. So, uh, tacos, fish or shrimp tacos, ten bucks. Right. Uh, the one I'm now I'm really looking forward to this shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. It's all about twenty Colin. bucks, and it is a it's a beautiful presentation, mm -hmm. and it is delicious. So, pulled pork sandwiches, meatloaf, yeah, prime rib sandwich, fried oysters, fried oysters and Wasn't fries. There's shrimp and fries. Fried shrimp and fries. Yeah, I thought it was shrimpy fries. <clears throat> <laughs> but it's shrimp and fries. These uh, those fried oysters they have here are good, man. They hand bread them. Ooh, yeah. Colin has had the whole menu. I've had so, pretty much everything here. Yeah. So I mean, it's I've a, not had anything. It's bad. a special menu for yes. Tuesday night. So mm -hmm. this is, I think, the menu. So anyway, I just want to ask you to join us. So and if you can't make it, please tune in to TV Delmarva over the air. Yeah. Support us that way. You'll be able to call in. Yeah, you will. You can just say hi, or you can call in. I'm sure we'll be giving something away. Something. Yep. We um, may break out the prize wheel. It's we hard might to say. break out the prize wheel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be funny. <clears throat> So it's going to be a good night, Jim. I'm looking forward to it, and I want everybody to come out, and let's pack this place. Right. Let's pack this but place. But I don't in. want people to think that we're going to be talking a lot of politics. We're no, here we're not. to celebrate that that night is But complete. we are going to give you the results of the election. We're going to give you the results. Yeah. Yep. yep. But nobody's talking nobody into nothing. There's no, no. multi-level marketing people here. You know? <laughs> I'm not going to force you to buy more than one trailer so anyway um we're just gonna have fun is yeah. what we're gonna do so I if would you're agree. if you're watching and you're listening and you've never been to beaches first of all get on down here come down this morning and have breakfast if you want or make plans to come tuesday night again it's a special tuesday night because they're normally not open on tuesday yeah. night. so um it's election night gonna have some results 
Norm Short, what is he, the 11th? 11th funniest person on Del Mar. The 11th That's funniest That's what our budget person. got us. That's how far we could go, okay? <laughs> the 11th funniest person on Del Mar, yes. all right? So uh, he's going to be here, and Sky Brady, everybody knows him. He's quite the entertainer. Mm -hmm. He is. Um, and then, like I say, Walt's going to be telling us the results as things happen. And uh, a, a lot of people are planning on coming. So a couple hundred people would be good. We hope it's standing room only. Yep. We don't know what to expect. No reservations. Just get in your car and come on down, starting at 7 o'clock. Now, you don't have to stay from 7 to 10. No. And Colin is just saying that, you know, if there's some breaking news we may stay a little later. So, we could. Um, it's very we've both gotten yeah. permission to stay out past 10 o'clock. So. <laughs> we All have right. our permission slips. We got our permission slips. All <clears throat> right. Anything else I need to know? No, I'm going to give this to you because I okay. know you like having a um, physical copy. I of do. Those Six things, so. months financing yeah. on all purchases, 150 bucks and up. This is at Wall Service Center, and it's in case. So, for example, let's say you go there. For example. Oh, we're going back on the radio. But, yep. for example, real quick, Wall Service Center, you go there. And you find out, man, not only do I need a battery, but my brakes are going to be bad. Right. How can I just put this all together? Christmas is coming. I just need a break. Six months financing gets me through the work. Right. Give me okay. till February. Give me till pay February. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Or my next all tax right. return. All right, Colin, exactly. we're going to let you go. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, what's next? <laughs> I let him go. All right. So, Jim Weller here. We are live. We're sitting here. Where is here? We're sitting right inside Beach's Restaurant in Milton, Delaware, okay? We got different guests coming on, and uh, we got different sponsors and different things, so I want to brag real quick on one of my sponsors, which is my accountant. His name is George Luff, and people say, how often does somebody talk to their accountant? Not as much as your insurance man, <laughs> but I will say this. I talk to my accountant quite often because I'm always thinking about getting into new things and stuff like that. So this is a sponsor of the show, George Luff, Luff & Associates. George and his son Tyler run the business. There's a whole team of people there, three locations. So if you need an accountant, I had somebody call the other day and said, how long have you been dealing with them? I actually think we've been dealing with George about 30 years, folks, 30 years. I've had two accountants in my whole life, and he's number two. So anyway, I just want to say that I've been very happy with him, and um, he helps me out. i got a properties. i got a lot of properties called JKJ Properties. Then there's Jim and Denise Weller, and then there's Weller's Utility Trailers. So I'm just letting you know if you need an accountant that knows what he's doing, he's a CPA, his son is a CPA, that means they can represent you in an audit, okay? Uh, that's kind of important. All right, so anyway, I'm just letting you know I'm happy with them. They also do payroll. They have a thing called Easy Payroll. So if you own a business, you know how annoying it is to do your own payroll. Or I've met a lot of people that deal with like a payroll company, but it's a big company and they can never get a hold of somebody when they need them or have a question or want to interject. Love & Associates is local. They're in Milford. They're in Dover. They're in Rehoboth. You know, it can't get any more local than that. So I'm just letting you know if you need any help with your payroll with your business or you need accounting work or help, you give them a call. You ready for the number? Starts with 302-422-9699. 302-422-9699. Dial it in that order. It works best in that order. 422-9699. LuffCPAs.com on the web. LuffCPAs.com on the web. Now, and tell them I sent you. Mike, we got to look this way for a picture first. Just to get that done. Very good, Linda. So we are talking to Mike Sando. We are going to talk about Weller's Utility Trailers, and Mike always picks the topic. So, Mike, what is going on at Weller's? A lot's going on at Weller's. We're having a phenomenal November to no start. Doubt. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about carports. Carports. Uh, just a few, few short months ago, uh, they were measuring installations in months. Yeah. Now yep. it's down to about six to ten weeks. Really? So we have about a dozen customers, very happy customers that bought in August and September that are now proud owners of wow. carports that wow. just got installed in the last week or two. And a carport, so, just so I could clarify, it's just a metal carport. Right. You can park one car under it, two, three. You can get them different lengths, different widths. But what you're excited about is is the fact that we used to tell people it was going to be 8 to 12 months. Correct. Now you're telling them just a few months. 6 to 10 weeks. Because they're all built custom. They're all custom. The colors, the height, the width, the length, no two are the same, it nope. seems like. Nope. Everybody's got a different need. Yeah, we have a two-car carport on display at the store, and for $9,000, you could have a two-car garage. 
That includes the garage doors, doesn't it? With the doors, yep. A couple and, windows and yeah, maybe an entrance door. Exactly. So come down wow. to Weller's and uh, come talk to one of us. We'll show you around. We'll show you how well they're built and how they'll withstand wind up to 130 miles an hour and 30 pounds of snow load wow. with the extra bracing and support. So anchoring systems. So. And I think your point is we've picked a brand to represent that's good quality merchandise, delivers it on. Yeah, well, everything on the delivery, I do need to help people understand this. They're like, well, how come they just can't bring mine? Because they can't bring just one carport. When right. they come, they bring four or five, right. and they're here for two or three days, right. and it has to be a coordinated thing. So, you know, but how does it start? Somebody comes into the store, and we walk them outside and show them the carports? Absolutely. Okay. Now, some of them have already, um, you know, looked at them, okay. and, or they've done their own measuring. They know they... You know, they want two cars or one car or an RV or a boat. So it really depends on how they plan on using it. And we ask them some probing questions. Right. And really dig down and understand what their needs are. And then we custom design it with them. I had somebody recently talk to somebody at Weller's about a carport for a motorhome or a travel trailer. And somebody that works for us brought up, does it have slides? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the customer's like, yes, it has slides. But I only need this thing 10 foot wide. Well, they... They never realize that they may want to put the slide out right. while it's under the carport. And somebody that works when we brought that up, and they're like, we are so thankful because not only is there only a slide on one side, there's a slide on the other side. That's right. That's which right. means, you know, all of a sudden I thought 10 or 12 feet wide was good enough. I need a little bit more, you know. So I've always recommended to customers that don't really know, they haven't taken measurements. I say, go home. Park your two cars next to each other yep. as if the carport were there and take into consideration you need to open the doors. That's a good point. Yeah, you need to open the doors. <laughs> you yeah. don't want to ding the other car. Right. And so. then you might have people on the other side of the car want to open them doors right. too. Right. Yep. I agree. So, you know, we, we take a customized approach. Right. Personalized approach with each customer because everyone's needs are different. Right. And we truly understand what they're needs are and then from our own experience i own a carport so i've learned things just from being a, an owner myself right that i can express my own experience with them i have built a few buildings like you know buildings and i when i started buying the buildings my mind was very focused on the price of the building but when it was halfway built all i kept thinking was i wish it was a little taller wider yeah. and longer yeah you know and we try to encourage people to think like that even when they buy a trailer we're like yeah. we know eight foot long we'll get it done today but what if there's a tomorrow and you got something else you want to use it right. for so we're not a, pushy we're not no, pushy but no. but i had a, in, that exact example this week a woman has in a camper today but she knows a couple years from now her and her husband are going to buy an rv think ahead. and i, I yeah. said well if you have an idea which one be sure, you know, go online or go to the dealer and do some measuring. And she brought up an interesting point, too. A lot of these RVs have air conditioners on top. Yeah. And take, in, take that into account. Yep. You they know, have like the, a dome thing, too, that has something to do with Internet nowadays. Oh, uh, okay. So that's another item. You know, so, they, the, the dealer may say it's 12 foot tall, but they might have forgot to tell you that there's an air. Or you may get it afterwards. Yeah, some of know, them might, so. you know. Go Solar retro panels. and yeah. get an old CB antenna yeah. in the future. You never know. So. You never know. I wanted to bring up a couple other things real quick. Okay. Um, I, I want to have a call out to a uh, chamber board member who came in yesterday, bought a trailer oh, okay. for another organization that she is a uh, board member of. So we're a member of the Georgetown, Georgetown Chamber. Georgetown Chamber, right. And you go to these mixers and meet people. Yep, the business okay. after hours. I uh, don't so have who the was this person? Can I go ahead? Yeah, go uh, ahead. Judy Dean. Oh, Judy Dean. Yeah, okay. she's a Remax dealer, yep. but she's a board member of the Georgetown Chamber, and she's the president of the Georgetown Millsboro Rotary Club. Really? And they bought a trailer from us yesterday. Uh, they have a few hundred flags that oh, that they I transport remember. around. Okay. And okay. so they want good protection and. Wow. They don't have to drag them in Flags and out. Flags for heroes. Flags for heroes. That's right. Yeah, what a great thing so they anyway, do. So anyway, I want to thank Judy and, you know, yeah, her. The uh, whole group. The whole group, exactly. Yeah. And lastly, a couple community events Wellers is going to be involved in. Thursday, December 1st is the Georgetown Christmas Parade. Okay. And We're then for sure doing that. Friday, absolutely. Friday, 
Um, December 9th is the Greenwood Christmas Parade. Yes. And Saturday, December 10th, is the Bridgeville Christmas Parade. So we're doing all three. We're doing all three. We're going to be busy. So we just did the Milford Community Parade. Correct. And now we're going to do, I forgot what you said, Georgetown, Georgetown Greenwood, Greenwood, Bridgeville. Bridgeville. Yep. Okay. That'll be enough, I think. All right, Mike, yeah. uh, how do people reach the store? Come what do on. they do? Come on down to uh, 16889 North Main Street in Bridgeville. Call us, 302-337-8228. Dial it in that order. In that okay. order, as always. Wellers.com, you can learn a lot there. And uh, yep. friendly, knowledgeable salespeople. There's you, there's Rosa, there's Jimmy, there's Chuck. Yep. yep. And a good team of people there. Great, great team. We're open today, Saturday, 8 to 2. And then we'll reopen Tuesday at 9. So... Uh, yeah. Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to 2. So we'll it's a beautiful day you. today. Come we'll out for off. a ride. Yeah, we take off Sunday and Monday. Yeah, we, we're just too lazy to work seven days a week. Not lazy. Just we're just, we <laughs> work hard. We're tired, <laughs> to be honest with we you. We need two days of rest. <laughs> right. So when one's not enough, we take two. All right. So anyway, thank you, Mike. And thank um, you, Mike's the assistant manager. If you've never met him, feel free to stop in and say hello and uh, ask him for a Vanderwind's gift card. He'll Absolutely. probably find one for you. Absolutely. Okay. All right. All right. See you, Mike. All Have right, a good day. You. All right. You too. Bye bye. Mike Sando, he's been with me for years now, does a great job. We're very happy with him. Integrity Pest Solutions uh, is one of my sponsors. And uh, not only that, they are my pest control people. They're my friends. And um, I just love dealing with them. So it is Keith Ruark. You hear me talk about him all the time. Keith Ruark, Integrity Pest Solutions. And uh, it's a time of year that the weather is changing. And uh, that means certain animals uh, might be trying to come into your house. And uh, some of them may be like uh, mice or something like that. So if you need uh, somebody to help you with your pest control situation, to come up with a solution, I say call Integrity Pest Solutions. I'm very happy with them. I've dealt with them for years. I deal with them on uh, different properties. Uh, some of them I have a yearly agreement. Some of them we just call them when there's ants running around like crazy. So anyway, if you need help, Keith is an owner-operator. That's what I like about him. Uh, we live in a day and time. You call somebody and you have a great experience on the phone or somebody comes out and you really like talking to them and then they send somebody there that couldn't give a hoot on you know how happy you are keith he's the owner he's the operator he answers the phone he gives you the estimates um, and he does the work so it doesn't get much better than that okay so anyway keith ruark integrity pest solutions 302-858-8629 you dial it in that order 858-8629 okay it's just like that integrity pest solutions.com on the web and integrity integrity pest solutions on the facebook now ron hagan is here and we have got a call out to one of his teachers but in the meantime <laughs> we are going to let ron's pose for a picture right over here there we go this is just me and you looking pretty all right thank you so ron where did you graduate high school cape and lupin cape and lupin and uh what is a teacher that would just really brag on you if we could get them on the phone? They're all deceased. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're pleading the fifth. Actually, okay. there is one that would brag on me. Okay. My wife, Jen. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Now, does Jen have a big event coming up? She always has something going. I okay. can't keep. I can't keep track of it. Okay. Really? <laughs> okay. I didn't know. Well, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> definitely a, a big one coming up. Oh, really? But I don't know. If I I I'm not going to do that here. Oh, I don't okay. have the nerve to do that here. Is she armed and educated? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then I won't do it either. So we'll leave that alone. All right. <laughs> She's over there thinking, you guys better not say yeah, nothing. <laughs> All right. So. Hey, I got a question. You got these right. things. Is I my, do. Is my breath okay? Oh, I'm not to... insinuating okay. anything. <laughs> Let your conscience be your guide. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I took your advice. I went and voted yesterday. How'd you like it? I, I did. I went to the Lewis Fire Department right mm -hmm. by the Nassau Bridge, I yep. guess it is. Mm -hmm. Man, they were so friendly and helpful. I was in and out like it. In no time at all. It was amazing. Yeah. I. I I wasn't a big fan of it. I mean, I'm a. I, I like the idea of voting on election day. Right. But I said, you know, I'm going to give it a try. Open minded, and uh, I was very impressed. It was wow. simple, in and out, and uh, I liked and, it. And did I see that you got a deer yesterday? I did. I uh, went out last night and got a little one. bit of stress relief. And you looked stressed yesterday morning. You I, look much I was, better today. I feel much better today. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Wow. Okay. <laughs> going deer hunting makes a difference. Well, it? I just like going out in the woods. Okay. You know, just it's it's 
no phone, no. Well, I usually have my phone That's with me. That's why you didn't text me back right away. Because I'm usually it's reading, like, actually. I'm usually oh, reading really? on my phone. Yeah, okay. I got download books and read them and really? stuff. Really, you're a book reader. Yep. Okay. And uh, so I do that and just listen to the listen to the nature, the nature, and watch the wildlife. And I don't even care if I kill Get anything, but. Yeah, this uh, guy. He, he looked pretty happy. He, he walked out in front of me. I said, "Yeah, I'm going to test out my new right. my new Raven crossbow." So wow. Yep. So the store. This is best yep. shot. The brand new building. Everybody sees mm -hmm. it on the highway. Yep. What are the four garage bays for? Well, they're not garage bays. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, they're actually retail businesses. <gasps> well, they're going to be retail. They're for businesses. rent. They're for rent. Yeah, we've got one of them is rented totally. Actually, okay. the guys post hopefully going to start his build out next week this okay. coming week right. um and then we've got another uh potential tenant that they're just kind of seeing what the market does okay. and a little little a little concerned okay um but we do have two of them that are available if anybody's looking for uh, we'd love to have a little sandwich shop or something in there do you remember swanky frank yeah, hot dog mm -hmm. place. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Swanky Frank should open Swanky up. Swanky Frank, you know, I was, <laughs> I was telling you, know, like a firehouse sub. There's yeah. not, there's not any uh, firehouse sub shops around that would here. Be interesting. I hear yeah. they're a really good franchise. Um, you know, just something simple. The nor area north of Lewis, uh, north of the Nassau Bridge, is really growing. A lot of developments up there. Right. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind there'd be plenty of business for or something like that. People leaving the Lewis Rehoboth area, going back to Milton, Milford. Uh, after their work day, mm -hmm. just stop and grab a sandwich on the way home or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, no, I think, again, you know, everybody's got so. their different business plan. And that's why it's not finished off, because you don't know how to finish it up. Correct. Based on the tenant. Well, we also, we were waiting to put the concrete in. The concrete, I mean, it went okay. in this past week. Okay. So the... Um, the fronts will be going on. The, the open part is actually going to be windows. Okay. Across and then the front. like an entrance door. And then an entrance door, yeah. Okay. So that'll start going in probably this week coming up as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to open up an as seen on TV store there. Hey, in that'll bring words. that'll bring in people. <laughs> as seen on TV. All them gadgets and gizmos. Right. Best shot. Brand new built in multi million dollar facility. Black tops down. Black tops down. The uh, parking lot striped. Are getting set up. The range is. Uh, I'm going to say probably 95 percent done. Okay. Um, this week coming up, I think we're going to be able to get to that 99 percent. Really. And uh, how you know, exciting though. Uh, it's 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 a labor of love. I'll tell you right now. Has this been like five years from the time you thought about it to now? Or? Uh, about four. Really. About four. Yeah. Wow. We did a lot of research. Visited a lot of different ranges, looking to see how they were set up. Mm -hmm how they were designed, what equipment they used, what ventilation systems, um, you know. there's nothing aesthetics. like this around here. No. This I mean, is going to be state of the art. This is state of the art. You know, we're going to have um, turning targets in one of the bays. We're going to have cameras on all the bays so you can really? see where you're hitting the targets. Okay. Um, a lot of different little features that um, you'll find at some of the major ranges across the country, you know, ranges that have... 30 and 40 lanes wow. um, we're just doing it on a much smaller scale okay how many lanes are there going to be 12 12, 12 lanes okay. two bays okay we have 15 yard bay that has seven lanes and a 25 yard bay that has five lanes okay are you still having any help wanted opportunities right now we are we've got our team selected okay uh, we've had okay. got people coming in training we've i've had i've had about 15 people working for me okay um part-time um, helping on the range, helping out in the store when we get, and most of them want to come and work more. Right. So um, most, of, well, almost all of them are going to be working more. Right. We have hired a few additional people with some additional uh, qualities and experience levels that okay. are going to help Jen and I out and Hank and and make things happen. But uh, for the most part, we right now we're we're pretty good. Now I'm not saying we won't need more. Right. But uh, right now I think we're pretty good. All right, memberships. Can people still buy memberships? Absolutely. Okay. We are not out of memberships, as somebody put on apparently one of the. Really? Uh, I didn't of, even know that. I was joking. But, yeah, one of okay. the I can't. One of these like home thing apps okay. or something. Uh, we we have plenty of memberships left. Okay. Uh, you do have to come in to our current location, Rehoboth, to, to buy to them. Do it. Okay. Because we have to verify identification yeah. and age, um, but. Uh, we'll tell people, get your membership now, uh, because as prices continue to rise, um, fuel costs, obviously, we're, the range is going to be 
uh, temperature controlled. So when you go into range, you're not going to be shooting in the cold. You're not going to be shooting in the heat. So we're going to have our power and our propane bill. I just got my propane bill yesterday. $3.99 Three ninety nine a gallon of propane. And Holy you probably got mackerel! At least a thousand gallons. Oh, uh, at least, and I don't know how often we're gonna have to fill that up either. Wow. So um, anyway, so the, you know, a lot of different expenses that we had originally planned for right. that have gone up. Right. Or double. So, or double. So yeah. get your membership now. Lock it in so that. It doesn't change. So somebody could even buy it now, in other words, um, as a gift. In other words, I know somebody that bought it for a family member as a gift. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, um, But they need that family member's ID, don't they? They do. They do. Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, mm-hmm. no problem. All right. But anyway, so where is the store they can go to right now? So right now we're on Hebron Road okay. um, in Rehoboth, just behind the car wash. Okay. As you're going into Rehoboth, coming off Route 1, turning onto Rehoboth Avenue, if you look to the left... There's a car wash. Yep. We're about 100 yards behind the car wash. Okay. So you, walking distance from the car wash. Walking distance from the car. Now, you have to turn in onto the service road, which is where the CVS, the Exxon. Outback. The outback. Everybody knows the Outback. outback. I know you know the Outback. Yep. So turn left like you're going to Outback <laughs> and immediately turn right. Right. Exactly. And that'll, okay. that'll bring you right around to us. And then you go to the car wash and turn left. Yep. You can't go any other way. Okay. You, yeah, go you can't way. go any other way. Right. <laughs> if you do, you're in trouble. Yeah. You'll be on the hook. Yep. All right, so anyway, phone number or website yeah, so, or Facebook page? Yeah, so Best Shot DE, that's okay. our website. That's a great way to get up with us. Uh, actually, you can look on there and see our membership levels and and the um, benefits that you get for each level of membership. Okay. That's right on the website. Just click on the membership tab. Um, also, we got a lot all of our training classes on there as well. Okay. And we're not doing a lot of classes right now because right, we're trying to get, get everything. We're, 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 we want to get the place open so we can get them done in there. Um, and then, of course, Facebook and Instagram, we're on there. Okay. Best Shot on Facebook and uh, Best Shot underscore DE okay. on Instagram. Do you want to put in a plug for the person doing your Facebook stuff? Are they looking for work or not? Really? Absolutely, yeah. My daughter's okay. doing Here my, we go. Yeah, my daughter, uh, Rachel, she's doing all of our Facebook and Instagram stuff. Okay. Um, she's looking for additional work. So go on our Facebook and Instagram page. If you like what you see over the last about a month and a half, um, let me know and uh, give me a call at the shop or hit me up with an email we'll and I'll her. connect you guys. Um, and uh, she's done a phenomenal job. Everything on there, she's done all the research and wow. put it up. I've, the only thing once in a while, I'll have to provide her with a picture or something like that. So, and then you have to, she has to teach you how to use the phone, take a picture. Yeah, I already knew how to do that. (laughs) Okay. But but there's a lot of other stuff I don't know how to do. Right. So, So this is a plug for his daughter who is starting to help businesses with Facebook, Instagram, and and so on. And, And, and I know many business people, and I don't want this to sound funny, but it does seem like once you get over 50, 55, Facebook seems foreign to you. There, and, there's definitely parts of it for sure. And so, you know, she's younger. She's more in, in tune with things. So she's she's for hire is what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. You know, she's and she's re- and she works remote. I mean, she's living in Iowa right now. Oh, um, so, wow. How but it's cool. But, I mean, you know, we'll get on FaceTime and we'll work out. And Jen and her and I will get on there and we'll work out the schedule for the entire month. Right. You know, the products to highlight, the thing. And she puts it together. She does all the research. She puts it in it. And then sometimes it'll automatically um, happen. Be scheduled. Be, be posted, and then sometimes right. she posts stuff, right? You know, instantly. Instantly. So, wow. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, our readership, or whatever you call it, our, has like doubled at, wow. out of, in a month I've and a half. We've it's doubled. Been better too. Yeah, I mean, much overall, better. Yeah. yeah. And the interactivity of it. And, and that's what words. you're looking for as a business owner. You right. want people coming to your page and seeing what you have. So, right. Yeah. All right, give Ron a call, or what is it a phone number, or just come to the store? What do you want um, to do? Give me an email, Ron at bestshotde. Ron, how you spelling Ron? R O N in that R-O-N. order. R O N in that order. See, I'm, le- I'm learning. I'm learning right. from you at bestshot.com. Is that <laughs> Bestshot right? Bestshotde.com. D-E. I was close. Yep, I was close. <laughs> okay, we're done. Anything else? Awesome. No, thank you much. I appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Yep, okay, yep. have a good weekend. Hey, Fo- All right. Fox News called me the other day. They wanted okay. your number. I gave it to them, so I'm <laughs> okay. not sure if they're going to be calling you or not. Okay. okay. I'm ready. <laughs> See ya. Bye bye. Ron Hagen, everybody. Best shot. DE. Check it out. It's so exciting. A brand new business, you know, things going on. But um, his daughter helps people with Facebook and uh, their business and promoting things and so on. We're live. We're at Beaches Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. There's people here. I see Snooky Venn has arrived. So lots of things going on. If you want to join us, we're going to be here for a whole nother hour. We're sitting right inside Beaches Restaurant. Don't forget. 
the all-you-can-eat breakfast has started at the Greenwood Mennonite School. Today is their big day. The uh, fall auction is today. And I want to let you know that the auction starts at 9. And I'll be there by 10 or 10.30. But Dave Wilson's the auctioneer. And they're going to start at 9 whether I'm there or not. So if you want something to do today, check out the event at the Greenwood Mennonite School on Mennonite School Road. Free entry. No charge for parking. There's all kinds of things. There's also some other vendors. There's a, a kid's shop. There's a bake shop and a book fair, all right? So it's a, it's a big fundraiser for the school, and it is today, today, today in Greenwood at the Greenwood Mennonite School, all right? Um, you can go on their website, their Facebook, I'm sorry, their Facebook page, and there's lots of pictures of some of the stuff that's going to be sold, okay? There's some quilts, and there's some vacations, and there's some easy up type tents. Hey, I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. We're going to talk to Colin Walls, paging Colin Walls, and uh, we're going to talk about the big event next Tuesday and then next Thursday, and who knows what else is next. We got so much going on. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's been a half hour already? It's been a Isn't that something? <laughs> it is. Yep. I was eating my breakfast. Well, anyway, I was getting educated. So, you were. By Ron Haken. Okay. All right. Now you just so, need to be armed. Armed, uh-huh, that's right. You could be. So, what else is going on, Colin? We got Tuesday night, we got Thursday. Advertising <laughs> opportunities, what is Advertising going on? opportunities abound. So, uh, TV channels, TV Dunmarva. So, 14.1 is TV Dunmarva. Yes. We've known about that for years. We've had that for, right. uh, you know, coming up on three years. Really? Yeah. Can you believe it? I can remember the years worth of conversations before that. <laughs> exactly. Wow, 14.2 cool is Newsnet. Okay. 14.3 is Retro TV. Yep. I watched Great that channel. I love night. that channel. Um, so, you know, your old shows and right. that. And it's got a few newer shows. Right. 14.4 is Weather First. That's our own Delmarva program, programmed by us, 24 hour weather station. Wow. Tune into 14.4. 14.5, that is brand new channel. I haven't even announced this yet. Okay. All right. A major news network. It's called One American News. Really? O A N. One American News. O A N. Uh, it is a conservative news channel. So if you okay. are of a conservative of mind, yep. uh, that would be the channel you want to watch for your news and your politics and shows. So uh, it's really good. And uh, is it started? Is it on now? It's already on. Yeah. Really? Yep. It okay. is on the air. We put it on okay. the air last week, not this week. Okay. It just passed the week before. Okay. Uh, but, you know, with all the Sea Witch hoopla and all that, you know, we were just so busy. Right. But we got it on the air, and uh, it is available 14.5. Wow. And you can actually stream all these on TV Delmarva. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to, 14.6 is music. Uh, right. We've got music on there. It's called the Seagull Which Radio. one's the Heartland one? 14.7. I am addicted to this channel. Okay. Heartland Network. It has old Nashville Network shows on it. Crook and Chase, you may remember them. And then at 9 o'clock every weeknight is uh, Music City Tonight. Really? And I was just talking to Kevin about it. They used to produce this show every night, hour and a half show. They did every single night with huge wow. country music acts. So, uh, for instance, last night uh, was uh, Reba McIntyre was on there, John okay. Michael Montgomery, Harper Valley PTA woman. Who is that? Jeannie C. Riley. Jeannie wow. C. Riley. So, Harper Valley. Remember that song? I do. Yeah. Uh, and then there was a couple other guests on there as well. So, But this is an hour and a half show every night. But if you're a fan of country music, whether it's current or, you know, old classic country music, this is the channel to watch. It is, it's, it's a very well done channel. I mean, it is, it is top notch. Um, you know, and of course, the old Nashville network shows that they run are just were And this is free viewing. Or, there's no subscription Absolutely, or yeah. anything. This is over the air. Mm -hmm. You know, free viewing yep. or on your Roku device. On your Roku device. Yep. Point your antenna towards Seaford. You can get it over the it. air. Yep. Rescan. Look for channel 14. You're going to see 14, 1 through 7. So we have seven channels. And I am working on another channel. Okay. <laughs> you go. Oh, Colin Walls. Always got something going on. Now, yeah. Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Can we hit that real quick? We can. Okay. This Tuesday night. This is a this Tuesday night offer. Uh, Only, after, yeah. after the election, uh, stop on in. Or before, you know, any time. We're going to be here at Beaches Restaurant yeah. in Milton. So the polls close at 8, night. and right. we're going to go on the air at 7. So yep. uh, there'll be an yep. hour. 
overlap yep. there. Yep. So get in here. Uh, there's a special menu for the evening. Uh, Going to be some food. And you don't have to eat. You know, in other words, you can just hang out with us. But the bar will be open. The food will be available. I'm telling and, um, you, once you see this food coming out, you're going to want to eat. And you yeah. smell it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so we would so, like I mean, to get 200 people in here. That's our goal. Yeah. So um, we don't want to limit it, but we'd love it to be packed is what yeah. we would love. So uh, grab your friends. If you've never been to beaches, this is a good time to come Tuesday night. Yeah. If you've never met me or Colin Walls, this would be a good opportunity, uh, good networking. You know, if you own a business, bring some business cards and yeah. work, work the room if you want to. Spread the word out. No, <laughs> you know, but, you know, it's a good fellowship opportunity. Okay. So that's that. If you would like to sponsor any part of it, we could squeeze you on or squeeze you in or figure out a way, you know, to uh, help promote your business. All right. Anything else I need to know? Well, we're going to have some giveaway. We're going to give away some prizes and some uh, fun. So I'm sure you'll have Weller does Delmarva keychains. Yep, yep. I'll have TV Delmarva keychains. There might be some other things that we throw in I there. I may have Vanderwin's gift cards. <clears throat> Spin the prize wheel possibly. Spin the prize wheel. Yep. yep. We're going to have Jim Bosco. He is mm -hmm. going to be teaching everybody how to leg wrestle. Oh, Jim and line will dance. be. Yeah, and line dance. Yes, we're going to so turn on the Heartland ones. Network. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to teach how to he's line thinking, dance. He's thinking, I'm not feeling good already. In other words, <laughs> I'm getting a, getting a headache. Yeah. So he's going to be here with us. So we're yeah. going to have a good time, and you're invited. There is no uh, – people thought there was a cover <clears throat> charge. There's no cover charge. No cover I, charge. I missed that thought, you know, to be honest with you. But no cover charge, no yep. charge for parking. Come on in. Get yourself – some of the meals are only $10, $12, yeah. you know, for something to eat. So uh, support – Beaches Restaurant, and uh, that's the Milton location, and it's this Tuesday night. Don't miss it. This going to be a night. good, fun, entertaining night. Yep. And we're going to leave the politics out of the election coverage. Yes, and just have a good time. Yes, I okay. agree. All, All right. right, Colin. Thank, thank, you, thank you. See you around. Bye. Colin Walls, everybody. Tuesday night, you're invited. Let's brag on one of my sponsors real quick. It is Top Flight Heating and Air. I just dealt with them again. People say, how many times does a man deal with a heating and air company? Well, probably two or three times a month, it seems like, especially when it's getting chilly out. So if you need help with your heating and air conditioning system, uh, I had a, a, a rental property and it had a oil fired furnace type. Uh, it's a trailer and uh, they were able to figure out what was wrong and uh, fixed it and they were on their way. So I like that. So I'm just kind of letting you know if you need any heating and air, if you're looking at a new system or you're pricing a new system, I've dealt with these people on numerous projects, been very very happy with their pricing, very happy with their service, and uh, very happy with their attention to detail. Okay, Ryan Brower owned uh, Brower Mechanical, still does. He rebranded it to Top Flight Heating and Air, uh, got new logos, and uh, went ahead and um, rewrapped all his vehicles, and uh, just a great guy. So you got many choices when you're looking around, but I'm just telling you, for me, I've dealt with him. I'm extremely happy with him, and I believe you will be too, okay? He's honest. He's fair. He sells train products. He sells uh, the uh, ho the tankless hot water heater systems um, and the ductless systems too. So any questions, if you're pricing, if you want a second opinion, if you've got something that's not working, I have given him two or three very complicated uh properties with some problems where other people couldn't figure it out and he came in and he figured it out so what's his number starts with 302 329 8003 it's 329 8003 dial it in that order it's uh call topflight.com on the web call topflight.com on the web and uh, tell him i sent you and like his facebook page okay all right now who is next all right all right, um, we're going to talk to Senator Brian Pettyjohn, a Representative Steve Smick, who desires to be a senator here in just a few days. But we're going to take a picture first. Okay. Okay. So we're going to look right there just for the heck of it. We don't know what we're going to do with these pictures, but when we become famous or infamous, we're going to have right. them on file. That's you right. Know. That's right. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you Good morning. can use one of them. Okay. If you want. Okay. Yep, one of, you got to turn it on. There's a little button you push up. Sorry about that. There you go. There we go. Say test, there. test, test. Test. There yep. it is. We got it. There Ooh, we go. I panic when I hear the word test. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Senator Brian Pettyjohn, good morning. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Great and, to be uh, here, Representative yeah. Steve Smick, how you doing? Good morning, Jim. And it's going to be different for you. Just in a week or so, they'll be calling you Senator Smick. That is the, uh, that's the hope. That's the hope. That's well, it. we're going to make it happen. Yes. Let's speak okay. truth. Let's speak truth. Yeah, it will we're happen. We're going to go from yes. hoping it yes. to making it happen. Yep. So, yep. all right. So, who wants to talk first? 
<laughs> who well, talks the best? What do the you most? say when you ask two politicians who, who talks talk first? first? And, and who talks the best? Right. right. <laughs> so, you know what, Steve? You know, go ahead. Go, go alphabetically. Ahead. Yes. Oh, oh that'd go. be Brian. Okay, that Brian. would be me then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. um, yeah, election you're, day is just a, in a very few days. Right. And, uh, you know, I know I'm in already because I okay. went and early voted yesterday. Okay. And uh, I voted. My wife said I she voted. voted. My I wife voted said she state. voted. But, okay. I, you know, I had to go just to make sure myself. But uh, Were you able to check her voting? No, I was no. not. A, I, I could check okay. to make sure she voted, but not okay. who she voted for. I got you. But, right, uh, so. no, it's it's been a, a, a very interesting election year. I'm unopposed. Right. Um, and, and that's good. I, I consider that a compliment. Yes. It, 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 yeah. To be honest you know, with I'm, you, in I'm, other words, you know, I'm humbled for, by that, actually, for, for people to be confident enough in you to say, look, you know, let's just keep this man right on track and, and keep getting it done. You know, now, and, and I appreciate that. How um, long have you been a senator? Ten years now. It was 2012. I remember when this all started. It was like yeah. a spur of the moment thing. I, it was. I ran a 37-day campaign. No, you were good. With, with about $16,000 and got 59.5% of the vote. Good job. Yeah. But, all uh, right. That, that was a roller coaster. That but, was a uh, roller coaster. You know, so. we were able to pull it off, and, uh, you know, I've just been honored to serve, uh, you know, Sussex County for the last 10 years. My district is changing. Okay. And, and, you know, some of the great people that uh, great constituents that I had over in Bridgeville are oh, no longer going to be right. my constituents. Right. And, and, and that's a that's that's a sad day for me. I would agree. I, I, I grew a lot of relationships over there. Just some wonderful people. Uh, but I'm also looking forward to representing some people, more people over on the east right. side now. Right. Making new friends. Making new friends. Getting new yeah. customers is yeah. how I look yeah. at it. Yeah. So. All okay. right. So Steve Smith, good friend of yours. We, could yeah. we classify him as that? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And yeah. um, you would highly recommend him? I'm I would presume. highly recommend him. Okay. Absolutely. And so retired Delaware State Trooper. Yes, sir. And uh, what would you do before that? I was in the military, okay, and I, you okay. know, I bounce around on jobs just like we do here in Sussex County. Okay. Um, I, um, uh, Bill Prettyman had a uh, electronic store. I worked for him. Um, really, yes, CB radios. Uh, he sold a lot of stuff. Yes. He really. Did. Yes. Wow. And it was right after I got out of the army. I had done uh, computers and lasers and thermal sites. Uh, okay. I repaired those kind of things. And then, uh, so he thought I was a good mix, but he thought I'd be better off in sales for some reason. I didn't oh. know. Yes, he, he saw something in me that I, I, I did I can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the gift of gab. Uh-huh. Right. Exactly. Right. And, and, you know, honesty. Yes. You know, in other words, passion. Yes. You know, in other words, this is what makes good salespeople. Relationship You know, building. relationship building, yep. right? And you know that more than anyone. I, yeah, I don't know so. anybody that doesn't have a trailer from you. you know? <laughs> well, if they don't, we have to work on that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Should be a law. But anyway, anyway, so um, where'd you go to school? Sussex Central. Did you really? Yes. All right. So. Gra he graduated with my sister. No kidding. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And she was All adorable right. then. She's <laughs> Wonderful now, I'm telling well, you. Well, yep. She's my sister, well, so you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. And so anyway, so you're a local, you know, so I mean, I guess you know you know the lay of the land. Well, you know, uh, just being local, you do know people. Right. But when you become a, um, there was something unique about becoming a state trooper that I didn't expect. Okay. I, I didn't know it, even though my father was a trooper before me, and that is that you know all, you, you get an in intricate knowledge of all state services. Yes, all you state would. services. Yes. So that's because you we have do to now work together. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, people think that the. Uh, I swear to God, people think that all troopers do is like, give out tickets or, yeah. or arrest a bad yeah. guy. But in in the victims' um, advocacy and looking to make the victims whole, make them feel secure again after they've been violated, right. they have to take a look at the person that is the perpetrator and find out why they've done that right. and give them the help that they need because Correct. they're still going to be part of this society. Yeah, no and doubt. That's, yeah. that's something that we've sought to do over in Legislative Hall. And because we have a collaboration, because we talk to each other in Leg Hall, look, I don't know everything, but right. I know people who do. Right. And that's why Brian and I and members of the Senate caucus and the, the House caucus, we communicate all the time yep. over these bills. Right. Yep. And I think the networking is important. I yes. think it's important to know who to talk to and to know your limits. Mm -hmm. You know, and in other words, to say, I don't know that answer. But let's go get it so mm -hmm. we can continue this conversation. Right, yep. right. In other words, we're on the floor of the house on bills, and right. we're making phone calls to our constituency yeah. and saying, "Hey, what did you think of that bill? I sent it to you. Did you read it? What's right. the problems with it?" And we negotiate on the floor during the break. Right. We know, would call you, that real time. Yeah, yes. you know, if you if you ever watch, and this year with the live stream of what we're actually doing there in Legislative Hall, 
you know, people are saying, Brian, why are you always standing up and going to the other side or going to members of your caucus or going into that back room with, with you know, right. with your caucus members and some of the other caucus members? That's what we do there. Right. You know, if we have a concern, if we're looking to do an amendment, uh, if, if there's something that we think, all right, this is a fatal flaw in this bill, we'll, we'll go off the floor. We'll right. talk about it. Right. And, and sometimes what will do, what will end up happening, that bill will be tabled or, or not run on the agenda that day. If there's a bill that is that the, the uh, floor sponsor is actually working, uh, you know, we've had a couple times where we've taken the leadership from the other side over to, you know, into the back room, talked about a couple things. They've come out and leaned over to the sponsor and say, table the bill. Right. right. You know, because you, know, you, you have this political ideology um, and people people think what they see on the news um, is what happens all the time. We're just battling it out, yelling right. at each other, you know, not being cooperative. That could be further from the truth right. there in, in reality. Right. All crimes and, are solved in an hour. Yeah, you know, you know <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's the microwave mentality. <laughs> right. That, you know, you yeah. can create a, a full meal in, in, you know, 20 seconds right. or, you know, solve, solve a crime, solve a murder in, in an hour. Right. You know, they, they think, they be, people believe what they see on TV. I know it. Uh, way too much. The reality is, probably on the bills and resolutions, we are unanimous or near unanimous 85% of the time. Wow. But, but it's just that, that it's just that fifteen percent, twenty percent, whatever that number is, that gets the press, right? I and uh, you know because that's what sells. Nice thing about that, it is a small state. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know people, mm -hmm. and it does seem that our legislator, in general, you know, even though there's uh, a, a little bit of an imbalance going mm -hmm. on right now, yes, we still communicate with one another. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. and we just need to get that balance a little bit. I've heard you mention it before, yeah. you know, and I relate it to I used to be in the tire business. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, you take a tire, and it's out of balance. It'll still go down the road. Mm -hmm. It'll just be wobbly. It mm -hmm. won't go smooth. It'll, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll have friction, and it'll wear out prematurely. And, and, and it'll, and it'll end up causing analogy. other problems. Correct. Yeah. That's the best analogy I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. And so I am looking at things, you know, in life we need a balance in the yeah. political structure. There's nothing wrong with either party. We're mm -hmm. just out of balance. That's mm -hmm. all it is, you yes. know. Yeah. It's the same thing. There's nothing wrong with money, but too much money can mess you up. Not enough money can mm -hmm. mess you up. You know, everything needs a balance. Exactly. You know, so. Exactly. All right, so Steve, um, I've known you for a long time, so I yes. want to really encourage people to, if you don't know Steve, get to know him real quick. Ask a friend, ask a neighbor. You won't have to ask many people to, mm -hmm. to, to learn a little bit about Steve. And, uh, right. you know, good family man, you know, part of the community. Your father was a trooper. Your family's always been involved. So I'm personally just saying I would like to encourage people to, to vote for you. I'm just, I vote, you. you know, Thank in other you. words, I wasn't able to vote for you. You're not in my district Correct. thing. But, you know, I would if I could. Yep. I would if I could. And I just, and support. there's not much time left. There's not much time, you know. So, and, and people say, well, I don't know this or know that. Well, do you know this? Here's what my, do you know this? Do you like how things are? Or do you want things to be a little different? Do things seem to not make sense when you stop moving for just a minute? Do things not make, no, they do not make sense. Yeah. Things don't feel good. Right. right. So right. I, yes. right I, I think it's time. It's time. So yeah. do what you've never done before. Vote for a change. Right. You know. And we are that change. Yeah. Yeah. We are desperately trying to change Delaware back to where it once was, where it had that balance. Right. We need people to come right. out and vote. Don't sit home. 2008 yeah. is when the executive and the um, legislative branches of government came under the same party. 2008 is when the House of Representatives went from uh, uh, Republican majority control to Democrat. And it's wow. been that way ever since. Wow. Now, it's been 50 years or so since the Senate's been in Republican right. control. Right. Uh, um, I guess it was Mike Castle was the last Republican governor that we had. Really? Yeah. Wow. So there, there's a lot of things that need to happen here. But, you know, early voting is going on right now. Yep. Early yep. voting, 7 to 7 today, 7 to 7 tomorrow. No early voting on Monday. And then the polls open on uh, Tuesday and morning. And early voting, you don't have to go to where you normally go to No, vote. but you still have to go in your same county. Can't, you have same to go to county, the same county. Right. But, but there know. are designated early voting locations. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, anything else I need to know? I mean, I mean, we're really focused on Steve mostly. We want to yeah. get you elected as senator. We do. Right. The, okay. uh, and there's a whole lot of support out there, but there's a whole lot of anxiety as well. The opposite side seems to be in a frantic way of, of pushing their agenda in almost intimidation, uh, using intimidation okay. tactics. And I had a business owner that put up mm -hmm. some signs because I had, um, I, 
I had helped so many businesses. Actually, we all helped businesses in our district during the COVID. Oh, well, uh, thank scenario. you for doing that. And, well, they appreciate us. And if you take a look at most of our signs, or my signs, are on business property. That's rare. Right. Normally, mm -hmm. you don't right. get it on business property, but right. it's overwhelmingly on business properties. And I had a business owner that was intimidated by a, uh, a supporter of the other side or, or disapproval of me. Wow. And the, uh, the harassment that she got on the phone was enough wow. to call the police and cause her a great alarm. Wow. So just we need to have civility again. Yes. We need to respect the other thought and just go out and vote. That's how you may say your right. message. Just go yep. out and vote. What an opportunity we all have on Tuesday. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Or today. Or yeah, today. Or, or tomorrow. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, what is your Facebook page? Um, Steve Smick? Yeah, it's, it's, it's I've got, enough. I actually have three of them. Okay. It's, it's not. Well, how are you spelling choice? Smick today? S I spelled it wrong last time you were on. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, it's S M Y K. S M Y K. Right. I think I put a W in there somewhere. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I get it all kinds of ways. Yeah, all but right. it's only four letter word. Um, okay. It's, uh, it's, it's real quick, you know, okay. so it's uh, Smick, S M, and that Y is what usually gets okay. people because they want to put an I or something like that. Right. But it's just It'll S M Y K. Yeah. Or just ask a neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 or Google it. Or, or Google, Google it. it. Yeah, yeah Google look it. At the signs. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at the yeah, signs. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Anything right, else in closing? No, Jim, no? And, okay. and I really appreciate okay. it. And, you know, uh, it's going to be an honor to serve for this. is going to be a four year term for me. So well, I'm proud yeah. of you. You've done Thank good. You. Thank I you. remember yes, them yes. beginning days, man. I just remember. <laughs> I think you talk better now. Over there in Bridgeville. Stand tall. He's yeah. doing good. Yeah. Yeah. He is. yeah. I would like to let you know we're having a party here Tuesday night. Yes. If either one of you can stop by, we'd appreciate okay. it. Right here? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Right so, here. Good. And if not, I'll try to track you down on the phone. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you both. Thanks, Jim. See you. Bye. Okay, okay, take care. Yep. See you, Steve. See you. Bye. Thanks. All right, there we go. So there they go. Two good guys. I've known them for a while. Very happy with them. I don't think you're going to get much better than that. So please exercise your right to vote today or whenever. Snooky, how was that? Good guys, aren't they? All right. So what is going on? Outdoor looks, property maintenance. You hear me talk about this young man every week, and this is a sponsor segment. So it's Xandar. His name is Xandar Platches, and I've known him since he was a little boy. So if you're out there and you're listening and you need some work done around your yard, he does all kinds of things, okay? Um, I don't want to name everything I have him done, but I've got him doing some stuff for me. But the main thing he does focus on is power washing. He does a lot of power washing, so if you got something, you want to get the green slime off or you want to get your equipment cleaned up before you put it away, he offers power washing. Another thing is he cleans out rain gutters. He'll clean your roof off and then clean the gutters out. What a good thing to do. Leaves are falling. You don't need your gutters all clogged up or anything like that. So he does that. Um, estimates are free. He is licensed and insured. He's friendly. He's honest. Um, he also, you know, can, you know, clean up your yard if you need, uh, you know, your, your leaves cleaned up or you want your yard kind of tuned up. So whatever you may need done, he is licensed and insured. He does offer a 10% discount if you mention Weller does Delmarva or Jim Weller. Just mention that. He is a local business. He's been in business for years now. Wide variety of residential and commercial property services. Like I say, power washing, gutter cleaning, and roof sweep. Snow removal. You know, last year everybody panicked. You know, the time to get connected with somebody in reference to snow removal is right now, like today. Say, Xander, I want to get on your list. I want to be a potential customer for snow removal because when you need it, that is not the time to, to, to get it figured out. He's friendly, knowledgeable. He's an owner. He's involved. He's on the scene. He helps with things. Estimates are free. And like I say, if you have something you need done, give him a call. And if he tells you he will do it, he'll do you a darn good job. So, again, it's Outdoor Looks Property Maintenance, LLC. His name is Xandar and his phone number. Are you ready? Please write it down just in case you need it. It's 302-396-1741. That's 396-1741, okay? Outdoor Looks Property Maintenance. I said management. Outdoor Looks Property Maintenance, LLC, okay? Like I say, 10% discount if you mentioned you heard it. Heard it here, and uh, like his Facebook page if you would, please. All right? So what is going on? I hear lots of chatter in the room. Lots of people are here, and uh, we want to say thank you to everybody that has stopped by. 
the Greenwood Mennonite School has started their day. This is their uh, fall auction, started today already. So uh, they're having an all-you-can-eat breakfast. Uh, that starts, uh, it started at 7, it goes till 9.30. Uh, free admission, free parking. Um, so it's a nice event, and then you go inside, you can have the, the breakfast if you want. Um, and then they have like a kid shop where you know kids can shop or you can get things for kids. There's different vendors, there's a bake sale, uh, that's pretty cool. Some good chocolate chip cookies or some baked goods. Cake pies, all kinds of things. Then a book fair. They have that. Then the auction. It starts at 9. Who's the auctioneer? Dave Wilson, okay? And uh, I'll be there giving a hand after a while. I'll be there by 10 or 10.30. So uh, lots of things going on today at the Greenwood Mennonite School on Mennonite School Road. Everybody is welcome. l &W Insurance Agency. You hear me talk about them each and every week. I love dealing with l and I've had a rash of things that I had to call my insurance company for, and they get right on it. In other words, you know, um, so if you need commercial insurance or just residential insurance, or I just rented um, some a property to somebody and they called and got renter's insurance. So whatever you may need, car insurance, life insurance, health insurance, disability insurance, whatever, business liability insurance. If you need insurance, whether it's for a business or if it is just for um what was I getting ready to say? If it's for a business or if it's just for you, for personal or something like that, um, you just give them a call and they'll help you any way they can. They've been around a long time, over 90 years they've been in business. I've been very happy with them. I like them. I like them because when I have a claim, they handle it for me. I call them. They take care of it. Okay. Next thing you know, all I got to do is get some estimates and we're good to go. So L&W Insurance. It's LWinsurance.com on the web. Just L. Winsurance.com. Phone number is 302 856 7828. That's 302 856 7828. LWinsurance.com on the web. And they're very, very active on the Facebook. On the Facebook, okay? Hey, I mentioned it earlier. Going to mention it one more time. Bridgeville Fire Company has the all you can eat chicken and dumpling dinner tomorrow at 5 o'clock. That is November 6th. That is their annual fall dinner. The Bridgeville Volunteer Fire Department, it is at the fire hall, and it starts tomorrow at 5 o'clock, okay? Chicken and dumplings and all the trimmings and dessert, okay? It's only $10 each. No, that's not what it is. It's actually $18 for an adult and then $9 for children under 12, and then children under 5 eat free, okay? So, anyway, I just want to let you know, chicken and dumplings, tomorrow at the Bridgeville Fire Hall. All right, what else is going on? You know who else is open today for business? Fitzgerald's. Fitzgerald's Salvage and Recycling in Lincoln. I, I talk about them each and every week, and uh, lots of interesting things go on there. So first of all, this is a sponsor segment. But at Fitzgerald's, like, you can sell them stuff. So you might have some scrap metal, like appliances, or you got a new refrigerator. What do I do with the old one? Or a stove, or a dishwasher, or a washer, or a dryer, or an old gas grill. Anything metal. Anything metal, copper, brass, um, lead aluminum, steel, you take it there and they will buy it from you, okay? So they're open six days a week. You could just go right on up there to Lincoln. I think it's uh, Monday through Friday, it's about eight to four, and then I think Saturday's eight to noon. So anyway, Fitzgerald's is right on the highway in Lincoln. Been around a long time. Actually, they've been around 87 years. Think about that, 87 years uh, the Fitzgerald family started that business, all right? And they also, so they buy junk metal. They buy junk vehicles. So if you've got a car, or um, something like that, and you want to sell it, they'll come get it. They'll haul it away for you, okay? Take it to the junkyard, weigh it, and then they'll pay you based on weight, all right? Another thing that they do, another thing that they do is they receive, you know, like broken concrete. So if you busted up some concrete, you don't know where to get rid of it, can't throw it in your normal trash, you could take it there and drop it off. They don't charge you anything. I mean, they don't pay you anything, but they don't charge you anything either. So they sell parts, you know, different parts for cars, okay? They also have a lot of used car batteries. So if you need a used battery, they sell used batteries. They sell parts for cars, you know, and um, so on. So if you have any questions about what Fitzgerald's does or what Fitzgerald's offers or what they sell, you give them a call. First of all, their website is Fitzgerald's.us. Fitzgerald's.us. Very active on Facebook, okay? They're right there on Route 113 in Lincoln. And the phone number is 302 422-7584, 422-7584, 
7584. Okay. They're like a local landmark, and I appreciate them supporting the show, being part of the show, and um, so on and so forth. So, what else is going on? Have we given away anything today? I don't know. So, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to do it like this. Write this phone number down. It's a different phone number. Everybody ready? Get ready, real quick. It's 302. 302. 751. 302 751 5001. If you call that number, I'm going to give you two Vanderwins and one Chick fil A. You're going to just get a voicemail. Okay? 751 5001. Call that number. Leave your name. I'll set them aside at Weller's. You can pick them up next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Two Vanderwins, one Chick fil A. Call now. 751 751- 5001, leave me a message. All right, I'll be back. Colin Walls is going to join me. Tune in TV Del Marva. Here we go. All right, so lots of things going on. It's been a busy, busy morning here at Beach's Restaurant. And um, I just want to say hello to everybody. And Colin, hello to you. Hello, good morning. How's Kevin doing over there? Uh, he is fine, yes. All right, yep. I see Debbie has arrived now. Debbie's, Debbie's been, been here morning. for a while, yes. She's been here for a while. Yep. So. Got a lot of different people here today. Every yes. week, we're bringing five to ten people, new people in here. I kind of like it. Well, that's good. Yep, that's so, good. So, all right, Fresh tell me blood. something. Fresh blood. Yep. Fresh customers. Well, TV Delmar, we got all these things going on. Okay. Tuesday night, do not miss it. Get out here yes. to Beach's Restaurant in Milton. We want to pack this place. I agree. Election night coverage. It's going to be fun, nonpartisan. Yep. We're taking the politics out of this election coverage. Yep. We just want to bring it or the not. community together. Yeah. DJ Sky Brady will be here. Comedian, 11th funniest person on Delmarva, Norm Short. Norm Short. Jim will be here. I'll be here. And I'm hoping my voice will hold be up better. through the night because okay. it's uh, fading on me now. Okay. You'll be all right. You'll be all better by then. I hope so. Take them gummies I told you about. Those gummies, yes. Yes. All right. Oh, so. Haribo gummy bears, is that what they are? Um, I don't know what they uh, were. They're um, Airborne. Airborne, that's yes. what they are. Okay. <clears throat> Wall, Wall Service, Service Center, Center, real quickly, Jim. We now have six months financing. Mm-hmm. I believe it's called six months, same as cash, where if you pay it off within six months, really? it's just like paying for it. So Does that sound right to you, Colin? Okay, just check Deferred it. interest if paid in full within six months. Really? Wow. But if they don't, don't pay it in full, I think what it means is, is you can go longer than six months, but in the event you, let's say somebody gets something done right now, $500, $800. Okay. All right. I believe they can get all that done with no money down. Okay. And then yes. as long as they pay it off within six months, there's no interest. So it's like using somebody else's money. It's deferred. Okay? Yes. Now. So $149 minimum purchase required. Interest okay. will be charged to your account from the purchase date if the purchase balance is not paid in full within six months. Right. Or if you make a late payment. So. Right. So it's, it's a heck of a deal. Now, if you go beyond six months, I believe you will pay interest and you're not in default. People always wonder that with me. Am I in default? If right. my life changes and I, you know, I, I don't pay it off in time. No. As long as you do pay your monthly payment, you're good. And they've set so, it up that way. To, they've set it up to that do that. Way. Right. Yeah. So, so, so you're just going to get charged for that six months of interest they're going to add. Into yes. It. Right. Pay it off in six months. Right. Any questions? Free money though, for six months. When they go to the app, I'm sure it answers all their questions. One hundred percent. I'm sure we're butchering it up to some degree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're not. We're not the ones putting the plan out there. You're just connecting your customer with these people. Who exactly. Are, who and are then, there to exactly. Help them out. And you know, you don't have to wait till it deposits into your account. It no. comes directly to us. Oh, so you could do the work like in that <clears throat> next day or two. Yeah. Wow. I mean, sometimes okay. we do it the same day. Okay. Based on parts and stuff like that. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So free roadside right. assistance. Yep. I like for that. For one year. You can get that with something as simple as an oil change. Yes. So, you know, you get your oil changed in other places. <clears throat> Colin gives you for free this little card that offers you free towing, uh, free jump start, uh, free spare tire change yep. or whatever. If you have a flat. Lock your keys lock in your, your car. Lock your keys in your car or mm-hmm. your dog gets the lock button while he's in there. Yep, I know people. You sound that, experienced. I that. sound experienced at that. So, <laughs> anyway. You ever had that? You know, in other words, you, you got your animal in the car, and you get out of the car, and you and you leave the animal for just a minute. Let me take these groceries inside. Mm-hmm. And you come back, and what's the dog done? Jumped up on the door and locked the door for you. Rolled the windows up. Put it Rolled in drive. Right, and he's all over it. No, he's got to put his foot on the brake now. Well, you never you know. know. 
<laughs> so only take short dogs in your car. <laughs> right, yeah. So anyway, but you get that for free. You do the oil change. You yeah. check things over. It's a good value. I like the financing. I'm 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 like you got the total package. You know what I mean? You got yeah, it all. I, I would Not agree. to mention it's all 64 to years of being in business. Yeah. Quality AC Delco parts. Yep. Colin's waning on me. He's getting tired yeah. over here. These, uh, I am. I really I am. Can, I tell? can see it. I can see yeah. it. Now, yep. I saw Ron Hagen yesterday. He looked pretty tired. When I seen him today, he looked spry. He's oh, ready to got go. Got a good night's sleep. He, well, he, and he got a deer last night. I think that oh, did okay. something for him. Well, then he didn't get a good night's sleep. <laughs> no, he didn't. Because once you pull that. the trigger, that's when the work right, begins. That's when the work works. Yes. Well, I think he's I know taught, from experience. Jen, I think Jen does the gutting of the deer. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So, anyway, um, I guess that's it. All right. Are we okay? Yeah, we're good. I'll see All you. Right. I'll see you. Have a good night. You too. All right. I think that was Colin's last time. That was Colin's last time, actually. All right. All right. So Colin is free to leave. I don't know if he will, but he might. All right. What else is going on? We're sitting here. Where are we? We're sitting inside Beach's restaurant. One thing I want to remind everybody is do not forget. Do not forget to set your clocks back. Okay? Otherwise, wherever you go tomorrow, you're going to be an hour early if you're not careful. Okay? So do not forget to set your clocks back. What I like about... This daylight savings time is this time is when everybody's on time for church, okay? In other words, nobody's late when you set your clock back for an hour, okay? So anyway, I'm just letting you know that it is daylight savings time, and um, that is what's going on. Are we on the radio yet, guys? No, we're not on the radio yet, so we're going to stand by. Daylight savings time, I've talked about that. I talked about the all-you-can-eat chicken and dumplings dinner tomorrow at the bridgeville fire hall i'm looking forward to that um, we have more guests going to be come on we have lots of different things the greenwood mennonite schools festival has started so um i just want to say it's a busy day and um lots of people here um the room is really got a lot going on kevin is over there eating his breakfast and uh donald is very well behaved thank you very much appreciate that um we have we haven't need any police to come out here and straighten him out. So anyway, so uh, Linda, you doing okay? You ready for a picture? You all ready for a picture? Here we go. All right, right there. One, two, three. All right, we good? We back on the radio? Now we're on radio, we're on TV, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, okay? Like we have an audience like you wouldn't believe, okay? So um, we appreciate you, our audience. We've been doing the show over nine years, and uh, we have a good turnout. We have a good responsive audience. Plus, we got a room full of people, and then people go back and watch it time and time again. That's what all my advertisers like. They don't get just one ad out of this. In other words, people go and watch the show at other times. So let's brag on Dry Zone real quick before I get to my next guests. So Dry Zone is a sponsor of the show. Have been from the very beginning in Dry Zone. A lot of people know them. They uh, do crawl space encapsulation. They do it like nobody else, okay? They also um, have a, a business called Hello Garage where they can kind of um, remodel, you know, they can re, they can, first of all, they can redo your garage floor. I don't mean bust up the concrete and put new. They put this coating on it and they can put these little speckles in it, add color to it, they do that. They have different cabinetry they can do. They have a lot of materials if you needed walls built or something, either in your garage or in your basement that can resist moisture that are for high humidity type environments. They do, now that now we'll switch over to Dry Zone, who does crawl space encapsulation. I got somebody here that's getting ready to deal with them on some structural things on an older home. So there's a lot of services Dry Zone provides, and you will learn about them best if you just go to dryzone.com or Hello Garage. Either one on the web, you can learn about the two different businesses. They're all under one roof at one location right there on Beach Highway outside of Ellendale, and it's Dry Zone, okay? Been around a long time. Nobody does it like Dry Zone. Bill and Heather Anderson are the owners, good local businesses, always supporting things in our community. So thank you for all your support of things, and thank you for supporting Weller Does Del Marva. Their phone number, if you want to call them, it's 302-684-5034, 684-5034. Dry Zone or Hello Garage on the web and uh, give them a call or check them out on the web. Now, Linda, I want you, if you could, to get me a picture of Ron Hagen, Brian Pettyjohn, and Steve Smick, if you could, before they take off. Is that okay? And you can start the timer and I'm ready for my next guests. I'm going to guess this is Shirley. Hi, how you doing? And um, Grady? Yes. How you doing? 
Good. Thing. Good. You talk into that one, and you can talk into that one. Now, what are we talking about? Toys for Tots? Is yes, that right? Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots. All right. How long have you been involved with this? I've been involved six years, five really? years. Really? Wow. I, don't know. I really don't okay, remember. Okay, that was thousands of toys ago. It, w it was more than thousands. Wow. Yeah. And Grady, how long have you been involved? I've just moved in the year recently, but I've been involved the last four years. Very good. Well, I'm going to say thank you for your involvement. It's a great organization. It is. It blesses a lot of children. It's amazing, in other words, you know. So what, what do we want to talk about today? Well, we'll g give you a little uh, information about Toys for Tots. Okay. It's a nationwide organization. There's over 800 individual uh, units local, called local coordinators. Okay. That are responsibility for, for managing the program getting the volunteers lined up, which is Shirley's job in right. our case, and okay. she does a fantastic job, and uh, collecting the toys, sorting the stores, and then finally distributing the toys to the needy kids. Okay. Uh, so far this year already, we've had over 500 requests for toys. That's a big number. And that's, it gets that's bigger. That's individual families. Each right. family can have from three to 10 kids. So right. it's probably 1,500 plus. Wow. So are you already putting the boxes out yet? The boxes are out. The boxes are out. I think the last boxes are actually going out today. Okay. So about how many boxes are out there? It would be... Uh, hundreds? Many hundreds. Many so hundreds. Many okay. Right. Okay. And we go all the way this year from uh, Dover Air Force Base throughout Sussex County. Okay. Very all good. All the uh, toys we collect are distributed in Sussex County. Okay. Well, so, very good. Uh, and so do you need any, I mean, we need toys, no question, right? Unwrapped, is that important? Unwrapped or, new. Unwrapped new, unwrapped new toys. And what age groups? From uh, infants? Yeah, zero to 10. Zero to 10, okay, <laughs> all right. And uh, what about bikes? Do you receive bicycles as donations? We do. We do. Last year, uh, BB Hospital had a uh, benefit for one of their well, it was a recognition of one of their long-term employees that passed away. They did it. They donated 124 bikes they collected. Wow, that's pretty and, good, uh, huh? In honor of him, and then Apple Electric always comes with a, yes, a Steve large number of bikes. Yes, Steve does a great job. All right, so toys and so on. Where do they drop them off? At these different at the, businesses? At the box. At the box, at the box. The okay. Box. If they go for the our website, at okay. the, Nassau-de.com. Nassau D. Got to put toys for tots in there somewhere, right? Well, why don't you go to Nassau? No. D really? <laughs> okay, Nassau D. DE.com. All right. It'll take you to toys for tots. Really? Okay. All right. And they list all the block off boxes. Off all the block drop off sites in the right. county. All right. Well, very good. So, can people donate money? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. How do they do that? Go to the website? Uh, go to the website. It really, it does. They can go to the website. There. They okay. can send us checks. They okay. can donate online, too. Okay. Do you need any physical helpers? Do you need yes. any hands and feet? <laughs> And that's where I'm coming in. Okay, so, so yes, we're looking what do you for need? volunteers. Okay, volunteers that will help at the warehouse. Okay, um, whereabouts is the warehouse? It's at Sports at the Beach. Oh, okay, no problem at all. Georgetown. All right, and we have a great setup. Um, we have thousands of toys. We're beginning our warehouse work November 14th. Okay, and it goes through November, uh, December 16th, 17th, something like that. Um, on the NASA website right. is a spot where it says you can volunteer. Okay. Uh, once you select that, you'll go to another site, okay. and you'll sign up through Sign Up Genius. Um, okay. I'm looking for volunteers. We we are at the warehouse starting December every single day. Okay. Um, we have morning, we have afternoon, we go into the evening. In the in November, we are also looking for bringing in those toys. I think we have. Um, already about a thousand or more toys. Really? Um, so is this we, all laid out on tables? Or? Well, that's where well, we start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> November okay. 14th, we'll start organizing it. Okay. And then we'll begin to fulfill yeah. the family request. So we need, um, I need lots more people to come okay. in to help to do that. It crossed my mind, homeschooling groups. So somebody's homeschooling, 
and they want to come and help? Can they bring kids and help? If the kids are old yeah. enough, we've had some yeah, kids come to, in. Yeah. Everyone okay. who volunteers has to sign a uh, whole harmless agreement. Okay. And yeah. if it's a kid, the parent the right. the have to sign. has to well, sign. I'm just thinking, how are we going to rally a lot of people in the middle of the day, in the middle of the, right. the week? Right. In other well, words, other than... does a great job. <laughs> well, good. Good. But I was thinking, who is out there? Some, you know, there, there are youth groups, a Boy Scout group or something like right. that, you right. know. Uh, so I was just thinking, just thinking out loud. Who would right. I go after? I would go after me me i would go after groups of Retired people you know groups, so um, anybody yeah, else homeowners association yeah anybody. they could come together as anybody. neighbors church go groups on the, yeah. go on the yeah. website and follow sign the up. links to Another, sign up a, a major contributor is a local milton company a dog's head brewery okay last year uh, mm -hmm. actually the employees take a week or a period of time where they donate their tips to charity. Oh, how and nice. How last nice. year they provided as well with over $10,000 worth wow. of toys. Very so. good. Good. Well, I'm going to say thank you for joining me. So is there anything else we need to know in closing? I'm, I'm going to put in one more plug. When you're you do looking it. for toys, we, okay. we always get a nice supply of preschool age toys. Okay. The one or two areas that we seem to have a little bit less turnover is infants infants which, okay um you know anything from zero to nine months a, a baby type of toy okay um okay. and the other end of the spectrum are the older kiddos okay um 10 11 year olds which are you know fifth sixth grades right um those those are the other places that we always are coming up lacking with okay. toys so if all you're right. looking to donate those are good age groups to look all for. right and uh can people donate gift cards or not no gift cards Sorry. Gift, gift cards. cards. Do people donate gift cards or not gift cards? Uh, I don't think you do, really want toys. Cash is preferable. Preferable. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we don't put them into the bags. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah, right. So you would take bags. cash and go buy toys. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, is is a donation considered a tax deductible donation? Yes, it is. Okay. We are a five for one C three. Yep. Five See. Yep, I got <laughs> it. Sure. So, but we're not accountants, so double check that with your own bookkeeper, okay? We're not giving tax advice, but it should be. We'll put it like that, right? It would be. Say, so, would be. be. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to thank All you right. both, and uh, we'll see you when we see you. All right. Thank okay. You good luck, and I appreciate us. what you're doing. It's a great thing. Thank I've you. been involved for years. Okay. All right. See ya. All right. There goes Shirley and Grady. All right. Now the time of the morning that everybody seems to enjoy which is when we pick the winner. So there's people in this room that have filled out a slip to win a $25 gift card to Wawa, okay? So we are hoping that today's winner has never won before, but you just never know how it's going to go because everybody in here has um, won a time or two and some have never won at all. So there's a lot of heartache and despair, and there's a lot of joy. So anyway, we're going to give away a gift card here in just a few minutes uh, to somebody in the room. Uh, Guada has been working the crowd and getting them to fill out a little slip of paper with their name on it. And um, some people have put syrup on there, so it sticks to my finger when I pull it out. I'm just kidding with you. All right. So, um, oh, is that the same thing as this? <laughs> just double checking i don't want to get nothing wrong no that's all right you got to get up real early to get ahead of me there linda all right so but it was so thoughtful to mention this so sit down here guada and uh, guada is uh, celebrating a milestone in her life okay um so first let's take our picture let's do that before we all start crying or whatever's going to happen all right so, all right. Oh, are you saying bring it up? Hold tight. Hold tight. Oh, what's it say? I can't even read it. Pro, Pro gun. gun. Oh, hey, don't wear that in public. <laughs> oh, he gave it to you. Okay. All right. And don't wear it. Don't look in the mirror when you're wearing it. You could be talking to yourself. Just kidding. But anyway, I was just kidding. All right. we, I, I had something else I really wanted to bring up. I'm talking off mic now to somebody. But, oh, but she's got to go. She's out of time. Okay, we got all your gifts ready. and All right. 
Okay, so we're talking to people. Guada's here. Sorry about that, Guada. It's okay. You weren't even involved in all that. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's so, been a great crowd, by the way. No fights broke out? No. And Miss Lee. Oh, Beth where is, is she? Right here. Hey there, young lady. Yes. Well, good to see you. Yes. It was not the same without you. Good. Yep. All right. Well, good. Leah Betts is back. Yeah, Leah so, uh, Betts. And, she, um, she was off for a couple meeting weeks. Meeting a lot of new people? Or? A lot of new people. I finally got to meet Steve Smick. Steve Smick. What do you think of him? Smiles a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah he's kind of cool. I already got voted a, for him. He's got a good aura <laughs> about him, you know. In other words, he's got a lot of energy going on. And I met, like, uh, the people from Harrington that know yep. you, uh, Frank, uh, Where? Jersey Frank. Right there with the uh, Tamara. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they're from Harrington, first oh, time here. Oh, okay. But he listens to you all the time, he said. Well, there we go. Yeah. You've been working the crowd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been fun. So. Well, good. So you and Brian, let's talk about this. <laughs> you celebrated yesterday we your 16th wedding anniversary. Yes, yes. Okay. And um, what's it like being married to Brad? Brad is a very... Um, how do I describe it? it? It's like a deal husband, I guess. He's tall. He's tall. He's dashing. Handsome. Debonair. <laughs> kind. Smart. Smart. <laughs> hard worker. Statistically good. Statistically smart. good. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Yes. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, where did you get married at? Harrington. Harrington, Delaware. Yes. Okay. Because that's Brad's town. Brad's, Brad's town and his mom and dad got married in the same church. Did they really? Yes. Oh, Who's cool that? And we got married wow. on uh, his dad's birthday. Really? Yes. Wow, that was a very good arranging yeah. of things. Yes. Okay. I love Harrington. So, all right. And um, so, how did you meet Brad? We met at work. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a work um, yeah. meeting and it's turned into a No, we a didn't fall in marriage. love right away. <laughs> oh, really? It took a while. It took a while. Okay. All right. So, the crowd's been good today. I love the crowd. I love, you know, like I said, it's 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 a great this is this is fun. Actually. It is pretty good. Yeah, I hope that even after the election like a lot of people, you know, like will just come here just to do networking, right. meet people. Oh, I think know? the crowd will pick up after the election. I, I <laughs> That's what so. I think. And right. look at this woman. I told yes. her that's I hope she gets Queen the rest. Esther. Queen so, Esther. Listen, if you want to see an example of a wonderful marriage, yes. watch those two in the pictures on Facebook. I know, right? Side by side, one in front or one behind the other. It's just it's, it's inspiring to see. In She's a words, queen so. for many ways than yep, one. Yeah, I agree. She's very yes. intelligent. And, and um, very supportive. And very, very supportive. And yep. So, a lot of good things going on. A lot of good things. You will be glad when Tuesday's over. That's what I told right. her. Yeah. You know, like I said, she'll get to rest and go mm -hmm. somewhere. Because and... they've been setting another example. They've been helping other candidates. In other yes. words, where they could have said, you know what, Greg won the primary. We're good. No. That's done. You know? yeah. Right. But I, I think, yeah. you know, they're, they live a Christ-centered life. And, yes. and, 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 and God would have them yeah. help other people. Yep. You know, and that's what they do. It's very, right. it's an inspiration. Okay, look, the people in the crowd can't wait any longer. Look at Snooky. He's like, look, if you're going to draw my name, just get it over with. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now we got something else here. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Tuesday I? night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Beaches Tuesday is going to have happy hour <laughs> from come, 3 to 7. Comes, like wow, we'll with a happy here. hour menu. Wow. So starting at 3 in the afternoon, this is not normal. Working? Um Am I working? No, no I'm never I'm working. Th I'm goofing Tamara, off. Tamara. <laughs> I'm not working. Don't put Tamara, me down. Tamara is working. Tamara is working. Okay. So that's, that's itself. It's a good thing. That is an honor to meet her. Yes, yes. She's very good. Very uh, friendly. Anyway, wow. Happy hour from 3 to 7. Then from 7 to 10 is our election night party. So um, every Sunday from noon to closing is happy hour. That's pretty good, too. That's so awesome. if you want to be happy, get happy at Beaches in Milton. In Milton, all right. Now, is there any more any more napkin notes you got for me? <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel! All right, all right. So let's, let's do the drawing. This is the drawing. This is for a. Is that Marissa over there? Yep, yeah, it's Marissa. All right. So for a twenty five hundred, I mean a twenty five dollar <laughs> gift card. I'm gonna fool y'all one of these days. Okay, I'm gonna bring in some Monopoly money. All right, Snooky, are you ready to win? Okay. 
Snooky. Did I drop one? I don't want to drop one. No, no. Okay, no. where's the one with the uh, syrup on it? Oh, I got it. It's stuck to my finger. <laughs> Everybody ready? <laughs> Who's it going to be? Is it going to be? Debbie. Is it going to be Debbie Short? Is it going to be Linda Bosco? Is it going to be Brad? Is it going to be Marissa? I'm not sure. How about Chris Callio? This is really unbelievable, folks. Okay? This gentleman is a really good guy. He's vertically challenged. He's follically challenged. Okay? And he's learning how to take pictures. His name is Jim Bosco. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I do need to prove. I got to prove to the... Uh, there's more names in there. All right? People are like, pretty tall. He looks tall to me. He, all right, Jim's going to come down right. and make an acceptance speech. Come on down, Jim. Oh, we got 40 people here today. Thank you. This is the survey. I think uh, Brad and Guada count all the people by the half hour. Um, so here is your gift card, Jim. Thank you. Now, I want you to tell the crowd, how do you feel winning a $25 gift card to Wawa. I mean, what is this doing for you emotionally? It's making me taller. Because <laughs> you got to reach the gas pump. Yes, I do. That's why I have so, Lynn. <laughs> All right, well, we got a smile pretty for our picture. Hold your, Hold your card up. Right side up, please. All right, this is amazing, folks. If you want to please people, gift cards to Wawa seem to get it done. We thank Don Allen for donating them to us. Jim, is there anything else you want to say in closing? No, I want to thank everybody, and I want that to thank voted Don. For you? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not running for anything except okay. the door, but thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, there he goes, everybody. So that's that. Now, we're here at Beaches, and people say, well, what in the world goes on there? All I hear is chatter in the background. It's real. These are real people. Some people think I got this recorded. So... Um, Snooky Vent, you want to come have a word with me real quick? Look at this. Go that way. Go. Th okay, that's fine. Walk right in front of the cameras. Walk in front of camera number one, number two. Look at that. He looks so slim on camera. Let me do a Vanderwins commercial real quick. In fact, let's take our picture, and then I'm going to let Snooky comment on Vanderwins. Smile pretty. All right, now. Vanderwind's Ice Cream sponsors the show, obviously, you can tell they do. And we've given away a lot of Vanderwind's gift cards over the years. Have you, this is Snooky Vent, everybody, okay? This is Pat Vent's better half, is that right? Yeah. Um, have you ever been to Vanderwind's yourself? Yes. And um, how are you treated when you arrive? Good. Good? Uh, do they still have free napkins with all purchases? Yes. All right, and what kind of ice cream do you get? Most of the time I get a banana spit. Okay, a banana split. They're a, now, mess, they're a mess there to eat. Is there really? Yeah. I mean, do you eat it in the vehicle or on the property? Most time I eat it inside. Okay, because you could make a mess in the vehicle. Right. Okay, and Pat, does she let you eat in the car or no? Yes. Okay. If you eat a banana split, you better have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Take your time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, and what does Pat like at uh, at uh, You get the, a cherry uh, cone. Really? Okay. And have you been there five times, ten oh, times? Oh, down there every week and they were closed, Greenwood. Oh, really? They're probably closed for the winter now. Yeah. I would be surprised. Over there. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, well, you could have went just a little further. I know. And got the one on 404. I know. I do that sometimes. They tell me if way. you drive fast enough, you can get there in two minutes. I don't know for sure about that. But anyway, um, so what are you doing today? I got to uh, do some inventory. Inventory, okay, yeah. all right. Well, I got and um, so, have you voted yet? No. Are you going to vote? Plan, yeah, I plan on doing it today. Okay, if I were to run for Senate, would okay. you vote for me? Yeah. Okay, just checking, yeah. all right? I I'm just get, thinking about I get the okay from Dave Wilson first. Okay, well, I got to get the okay from Dave Wilson, because <laughs> that's the one I want. So, <laughs> I got to wait till he's done when he retires. I've been thinking about it here, so. All right, and, he's, and, and, and you've been coming every week. What do you think of Beaches? I like it. You like it? Do you get breakfast every week? Yes. Okay. I get pancakes and sausage. And oh, they're good. Okay. Well, good. And I plan on being here Tuesday and maybe oh, yeah. get that meat roast, mashed potatoes. Listen to this, Snook. Do you drink? No. You want to start? 
No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I haven't drank since I was 15. Okay, I stopped when I was 15. But anyway, they got happy hour from 3 to 7, and then our party begins at 7. So um, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. I, I'm, I'm going to be honored to see you on a, yeah. on a Tuesday night, all right? And uh, Steve Benton is going to make a good guy. You like Steve? Yes, I do. Isn't he a good guy? Yep. yep. He's going to make a good senator. Yep. All right. So is there anything else I need to know? I'm about, about out of time. You're about out of time? Not yeah. you do a good job, Jim. I try. Jim. Thank you. Yes. That's my hero. You're Donald's <laughs> hero. Wow, that's a compliment. Wow. That is a compliment. I hope we get Emory West there one of these days. Emory West, he'll never come. He will come sooner or later. We just got to up the ante. It's got to be, that's the $2,500 Wawa <laughs> gift card. Can you imagine spending $2,500 at Wawa? You'd be there for a while. Yeah. I'd be buying candy cakes and cakes. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. All right, we're going to let you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you my friend. Uh, okay, I'll see you Tuesday. Yep. All right, Snooky Van, everybody knows him. He's famous. He's world famous. And he's Donald McIlvain's hero. How was that? All right, Leah Betts is here. Good to see her. So we're just about out of time. I want to say thank you to everybody. Um, Greg Fuller, I didn't get a chance to get him, but I want to say he has done an admirable job of campaigning, not only for himself. He won the primary. He did it clean, he did a good job. But not only that, and he's well-deserving, but he has helped other candidates, and it's been refreshing to see that. But you know, Greg is uh, just an all-around good guy. So Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Not gonna tell you who to vote for, I'll just tell you who not to vote for. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, keep me in mind in a, in a few years. Who knows what I'm gonna do. All right, other than that, I hear the music, we're done. We'll see you Tuesday night, Tuesday night, Tuesday night at our party here at Beaches, 7 to 10 in Milton. All right, I'm headed to the Greenwood Mennonite School here in just a minute or two. And uh, thank you, everybody. Um, a lot of people here. Am I about out of time or still on TV, folks? Still on TV. Relax, everybody. We're still on TV. So uh, Brad and Guada celebrating a wedding anniversary. And uh, a lot of people have had a good breakfast. And it's just been nice seeing everybody here, okay? so.